and Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment grade precious metals. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and permanently removed the minimum purchase order for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts and Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing and a forward thinking approach to new technologies. 850-478-5270 or online at rrbi.co. Reuters reports the lawyer for a man tortured by the CIA says Romania's authorities should acknowledge the role they played after a U.S. Senate report pointed to Romania as the site of the secret CIA jail where the man was interrogated. The report did not name countries that hosted CIA jails, but it gave details of prisoners being transferred to and from detention center Black, which matched air traffic records of CIA chartered planes passing through Romanian airports between 2003 and 2005. Some of these these records were independently reviewed by Reuters, while others were cited in court documents. According to the Senate report, the CIA gave the government that hosted the secret jail at least $1 million to thank it for supporting the agency's detention program. The report cited the unnamed CIA officer in charge of the jail, telling his superiors that despite harsh interrogation techniques, the intelligence produced was often useless. The Office of Romanian Prime Minister sent questions from Reuters about the report to the Foreign Ministry. In a statement, the ministry said the Senate report released to the public contained no references to Romania, and Romanian authorities had no evidence showing that there were CIA detention centers in Romania. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. For the past several years now, area woman Caitlin Mooney has been convinced that each and every one of her friends should be a professional comedian. Our reporters spoke to Caitlin this morning about her, quote, hilarious group of friends. Karen is so funny. <laughs> Like, I can't even explain it. She's always just saying what's ever on her mind. She has this totally sassy attitude. <laughs> you just can't help but laugh. My roommate, Reishmi, she always has these hilarious stories that, I mean, they're just too much. I'm always telling her that she should just go up on stage and talk. I mean, everyone would love it. Mooney went on to say that her good friend Lauren is so funny she could, quote, definitely be on Saturday Night Live or The Office, a sentiment she echoed about a number of her other acquaintances, including her childhood friend Marsha, her college roommate Angela, her co-worker Julie, and even her sister Jennifer. This is the Onion News Network. Free Talk Live, 855-453. That's 855-450-3733. You can call in and talk about, well, whatever's on your mind here on the this live edition of Free Talk Live with Mark. And Cantwell. Ian's off tonight, so you got us, 855-450-FREE. You can also use Skype. We uh, are LRN, that's as in Liberty Radio Network, LRN. Uh, dot fm on skype so you can just call in there or you know send a friend request first then we'll take care of that during the show and uh, you can call in and usually it sounds a bit better 855 450 free we've been we talked it's probably been a year since we talked about this story but it it seems to be the ongoing kafka-esque trial of this uh, is it Iowa legislator or something like that? Yeah, his uh, his name is uh, Henry. I think it's uh, Rayhans is the name, and he's a a Republican uh, legislator in Iowa. And apparently, I just caught wind of this story the other day, and he's been charged with third degree sexual assault in Iowa for having consensual sex with his wife. Third degree sexual assault. For having sex with his wife. All right. We have to hear more, right? Yeah. I mean, the, the, the catch here is sort of that, okay, so the, the, the situation is that the wife is an Alzheimer's patient, okay? She's in a she's in a nursing home, and so there's some issues of whether or not she's capable of consenting to sex. Sure. Like, the government says that certain people aren't capable of consenting to sex. Um, and I would agree with them on some subjects, and others I'm I'm not sure about. Like, for instance, they'll say, I'm with them on this one. Seven-year-olds really can't consent to sex. However, 
they will say that certain people of some level of retardation or whatever the term is, special needs, uh, I don't know, otherly mental. Some I mental got impairment. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Yeah. Um, that they're not able to, to consent. And I don't really know what the answer to that is. I mean, I don't know if you're 22 years old and you have an IQ of 45, does that mean you're not, I mean, you know, I mean, there's dogs with higher IQs, but people with IQs that low. Uh, right. I mean, does that mean you're not capable of consenting? I don't know the answer to that, uh, but it seems to me that. I it, think that if you're 25 years old and you haven't been laid yet, I'm pretty sure that you really, really want to get laid, I whether you, you have an IQ of 45 or 150. So there's also people that, uh, you know, obviously people have dementia. If, if a couple has been married for a long time uh, and one of them begins to, you know, go a little batty, as, as is one to do with us these days, is it, oh, is it not okay to have sex with your wife any longer? What if you both go batty? Can you do it then? Well, you know that's that's the thing that you get into, and I mean it's it's they they make similar uh, similar cases with like alcohol and stuff, right? They say that well, if uh, the one one woman, Lacey Green, and another a number of people are on the same page as it, but I, I went off on this one particular woman who said, you know, if you drink, if a woman is too drunk to drive, then she's too drunk to consent to sex. It doesn't matter if you have also been drinking, then you right. are you are a man, so you are therefore a rapist. <laughs> um, and so you know, if if there's a situation where this uh, the, the in the case of of Henry Rahans in Iowa, she's been t taken out of his home against his will, by, mind you, by the way, okay? So, like, he didn't want her, his wife, uh, I believe her name is Donna, he didn't want Donna to leave the house, and the, the but the Donna's daughters from a previous marriage began to get, like, concerned about her well-being, right? Right, that, sure. That he would, uh, you know, he was, a, he was a busy guy, he's a political figure, and he would have to go do things, and he could not always be next to her. And so they were like, hey, we want to put her in a home, and finally they, like, did it, like, while he was at work. Like, he came home, and his wife was gone. Wow. Yeah. So he's not happy about this. And then he's, you know, and then he's going and visiting her in the nursing home. And there are occasions where, yeah, this woman's a little, she's a little off her rocker, right? But she says, shall we play a bit? You know, and, and <laughs> asks, she's asking for sex. Wow. Okay. Um, it, it's a bizarre story. Let's go to Richard calling in from Northeast California. Richard, you're on Free Talk Live. Hi. I, I, I just find it odd that, like, government workers are trying to pass laws on sex because, like, I, I didn't even know that Cylons bred. But that's a new one on me. <laughs> what? <laughs> but I, I was more curious about – anybody who works for government is a Cylon. Gotcha. But, uh, I was more curious about uh, New Hampshire. Like, what pH are your guys' wells out there? What is the pH of the wells in New Hampshire? Yeah, like somebody on well water. What's like the average pH going on? You know, on? I've got well water, and I couldn't tell you what my pH is. Um, you know, the, they come out and check it every once in a while, and I, you know, like I'm completely ignorant of that uh, piece of information. The internet might be able to to whip up something for you, though. Yeah, I've got. Uh, I yeah. get my water from the city of Keene. I'm pretty sure, and I can tell you that it don't taste bad. It's, and it's also not uh, florid, florid, floridated here in in southeast, southwest New Hampshire. That's I have I have heard that. Yeah, I'm, I'm just in the middle of nowhere, but I, I also watched uh, the Derek J. Uh, uh, gun carry appeal thing, and I just thought that was absurd because I mean I'm calling from California, but I, I live in a county in California where more cows and people. We don't have parking meters or traffic lights, and it's a shall issue county. Like they can't deny you for that. And I just, I just, I don't know. Can you carry a gun around? Oh, in that we county on we, your hip? we used to think the same thing about the state of New Hampshire. We used to think that this was a shall issue state, and then they said, "Hey, well, you shall issue unless we determine that you are not a quote suitable person." Uh, which you know really threw threw us for a for a loop with the with the Derek J thing. But you're saying you're in California and your county is a shall issue? Yeah, most of Northern California is like um, California gets a bad rap, but like we're not all like Bay Area or LA people. Like, I mean, I'm super rural. There, I'm I'm like uh, for me to drive to a Walmart is a hundred miles one way, and uh, and that, like we don't have any. Well, we have a subway. That's like, or I hope I didn't, but that's like our only fast food here. But um, like, we're out uh, way up in the mountains, and but most of Northern California is like that, and like a whole bunch of counties I've lived in, um, parts of Humboldt have uh, parking meters, but like Trinity, Siskiyou, 
well, mode on. Let me ask you this, in. Richard. Uh, can you carry that gun around? And, oh, is it only in the county? Well, see, that's a, yeah, um, well, no, it's good for, uh, like, it, it. the sheriff gives it to you. And if you live in a county that's, like, under 10,000 people, like, they can't say no. And, um, But you can't take that yeah, thing no, to I, L.A. You can. Yes? Can or can't? You can. Can. You're allowed to. Huh. Yes. And so that's what I found odd. Like, California gets a bad rap, but, uh, you know, not all, like, the uh, liberal coasties. Like, you get oh, into I, East I understand California. completely. If you were to take California you know? and stick it on the East Coast, it'd run from Maine to oh, South Carolina. I mean, it is a big that's place. The thing. Yeah, exactly. It should be kind of, a, it could be its own country. I mean, it's bigger than a lot of countries in Europe. It has the uh, like, seventh really largest diverse. GDP in the world um, comparative to France. So it's a big place. Richard, I do appreciate the call. There's a little bit of a hey, click on the night. line. Yeah, Thanks a little, so much. little noise there. I mean, it's an interesting thing because, I mean, like, I'm, you know, I'm from New York, and New York is the, the, the state of New York. I mean, the city of New York is a really, it's a tiny little dot on the map of New York state, but their government, the, the city government has so much influence in the state government that you get, you get screwed all the way from top to bottom and it's, and it's, and it's really bad. So you have the, there are obviously more tight restrictions on guns in New York city than there are in say Albany, but uh, you know, it, there's, you certainly don't get a shall issue permit anywhere in New York. And even if you get a, uh, a state issued permit, you can't, you still can't even carry it into New York. York City is crazy. No, they said other. They say otherwise, huh? Yeah. Well, you know, every place is different on these gun laws. It's really interesting. You can have whatever tools you want, except for the tools for defending yourself. Yeah, and that's why I've got I've got like an app on my phone that's like the the concealed carry app. So it kind of sort of tells me, gives me a, a rough outline of you know where I'm good and where I'm not, and what the the variations on the regulations are from place to place. Because what seems like perfectly legal here, it's like I I could accidentally cross the border into Massachusetts and become a convicted felon inside of 500 feet. The um, this story that we're talking about here with this uh, I, what Iowa legislator has been charged with third degree sexual assault for having sex with his wife. Yeah, consensual sex with his wife. Fascinating stuff. Um, I want to explore this just a little bit more when we come back. It sounds like a witch hunt to me, but we'll we'll see. Eight five five four five zero three seven three three. Can you? Can, is there a circumstance where an adult can't make a decision to have sex? 855 450 free. Free Talk Live. So the protection of life, liberty, and property is, is what the Free State Project is all about. But it's an, it's an effort to move 20,000 people who understand. It's about demonstrating to the entire country. That, yeah, we can have a free market, a truly free market. Making it just a freer, great place to live. It's the world's largest voluntarist libertarian community and it's it's only getting bigger. That's amazing to be able to move to a place where other people like passionately believe in being free and independent. What the Free State Project is managing to do though is to put their money where their mouth is. It's physically getting up across the country and saying let's go someplace and let's demonstrate the power of these ideas. There's a lot of kind of philosophy that surrounds liberty. There's a lot of thinking about it and talking about it but here in New Hampshire people are doing it. 101 Reasons Liberty Lives in New Hampshire, a documentary by Free State Project Early Movers. Watch it free at 101reasonsfilm.com, 101reasonsfilm.com. Gold isn't for you? Ted Anderson, president of Midas Resources, one of the world's premier gold and precious metal investing firms. I get it. You wouldn't buy gold if you believed that the government is doing a great job, that the Fed will stop handing out trillions of dollars like bailout candy, that Social Security would be there for you. That's not what's happening. You might even pass on gold if the stimulus package wouldn't fuel inflation, or that the dollar wouldn't lose value, or that your retirement would be secure. If all looks rosy to you, then now is not the time to buy gold. For the realists, there have never been more sobering reasons to diversify with gold. Since 2001, the U.S. dollar index has tanked 30% while gold has risen 300%. Right now, savvy investors are adding gold to their portfolios. You should too. Find out what they know. Call us and I'll send you 10 reasons why gold will do very well, free. 800-686-2237. 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237.
Free Talk Live. The only thing that separates government from the mafia is their cloak of legitimacy. The government is nothing more than an armed gang of violent people masquerading as though they're something else. Mm -hmm. They've got these uh, PR systems in place to make people think that there's something special about their armed gang to make them not realize that that's all they really are. They've got uniforms. They've got robes. They've got courtrooms. They've got this flags. They've got flags. They've got pledges of allegiance. They run the schools. They run the roads. They're everywhere. So you think that they're supposed to be there. They've been there since you've been born, so they must always have to be there. Well, that's not true. They're an organized gang of criminals. You know how I know they're criminals? Because they're using force on people, and that's wrong. It's just wrong to force people to do things. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Are you tired of your taxes funding endless occupations around the world? Antiwar.com is run by people who understand that wars abroad become wars at home, wars on our freedoms. Antiwar.com is dedicated to bringing you the latest in news, views, interviews, and reviews from the top movers and shakers in the anti-occupation movement. Antiwar.com has it all, from thorough foreign policy analysis to interviews with whistleblowers who used to run the military-industrial complex. Antiwar, pro-free market. That's Antiwar.com. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can give us a call and talk about whatever's on your mind. It's Mark with you. And Cantwell. 855-450-3733. And we, you know, holidays are coming up, and we recently got our, uh, our, our little box of Sherry's Berries. These things are delicious. Cantwell, I'm sorry I couldn't save one for you. They're just so good. These are like the the big berries, right? They're they're like the they're like the size of a hand fruit of a strawberry or something. They're, they're not super super gigantic, but they are always tasty. I mean, they're not small berries by any stretch of the imagination, but I mean, I I've, I've seen gigantic berries and you know, they don't always taste that good. Right. <laughs> um I think that really these are the best described as sort of super premium gourmet berries. Okay, so they're not the like Monsanto uh giant Plum Island bioweapon fruit. <laughs> Look like a grapefruit. No, <laughs> they don't. <laughs> but they are really, really good. And they come in a box and, you know, they're they're well wrapped and they're really nice. And I can tell you what, you can't eat just one. They're really so good. You're going to be trying to figure out how you can elbow your family and friends out of the way for them. And so I'm recommending these as a holiday gift. They're, they start at uh, $19.99. It's over a 40% savings. Or you can uh, double the berries for just $10 more. And you just need to use coupon code FTL. You go to berries.com. You click on the microphone in the upper right-hand corner. Um, and berries.com is spelled B-E-R-R-I-E-S.com. And when you click on that, uh, that microphone in the upper right-hand corner, you type in FTL. And it's the perfect gift without any hassle. It's berries.com. Click on the microphone, type in FTL, order them today. By the way, they do have a telephone number. It's 866-FRUIT-0. It's 866-FRUIT-0. With Christmas coming next week, there's only one way to get this amazing 1999 for Sherry's Berries offer, and that's to go to berries.com. Isn't it Fruit Zero Two? It's Fruit Zero Two. What'd I say? You said Fruit Zero. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> 866-FRUIT-02. It's only six digits. Yeah, what can I tell you? Berries.com, the microphone in the upper right, type in FTL. And get this, because I'm telling you, 
uh, whoever it is is going to love it, whether it's uh, you know mom, the the spouse, uh, you know dad, whomever. These things are delicious. You want to double the berries because if you're around, you're going to want some too. Berries.com. I think I'm actually going to do that. Like I'm dreading going back to New. York. I'm going to go back to New York for Christmas pretty soon, and I dread it. Like I hate Christmas, and uh, and. Uh, you know the the whole family thing, and like I don't know what to get these people. You know, uh, it's like I, I, what am I gonna do? I have no idea. You have everything you need, and I'm like, all right, uh, maybe I get you some fruit. Can't hurt. Um, fruit's always a good thing because people like it, especially this time of year. So let's go on with the story of this uh, what this Iowa legislator who has been charged for having consensual sex with his wife. Yeah, and it is a fascinating story that. I, I I just can't imagine what's going on there. Yeah, it it's something that drove me completely out of my mind. And it's one of these things that like you do hear, um, is especially when I started like writing for a voice for men and stuff like that, you start looking into more like false rape allegations and things like that. And I mean, this usually involves someone who's claiming to be a victim, right? And sometimes you find out that, hey, in fact, this person was not a victim. And in this case, we've got a person who's not even complaining that somebody else, somebody completely outside of this transaction is coming in and saying, hey, you're, I know you're married to my mother and all, and I know that she's asking you for sex, but I'm pretty sure that you should go to prison for the next decade uh, because I don't approve of your sexual relationship with my mother who opted to marry you. Yeah, you know, it seems to me that if you were that the uh, the default answer to sex is yes once you get married. I'm I think say- the default answer should to sex should be yes all the time, you know. <laughs> I don't think that works out. But I think that you can uh I mean, obviously you can opt out, honey, I have a headache tonight. Um that's not going to work out. But I mean, it's an expectation, right? Like marriage is among other things a contract for sexual relations. As a matter of fact, in many societies a marriage isn't considered to be legitimate until sex has occurred. Right. That's how important it is to that contract. Exactly. Yeah. And so the other the other thing that, you know, came up about it for me is like um, we understand you as we as we went to break earlier, you had said, um, is does there come a point where an adult can't make a decision? And I would say in large part that the answer is yes. Right. So like if somebody's an Alzheimer's patient and they're in a situation where they can't be trusted to make responsible decisions with their money, for example. Right. Mm-hmm. Sure. So we understand, like, give somebody a power of attorney. They get to make certain decisions about the person's money. Uh, if a person was of sound mind, we would wouldn't allow anybody to do that for the most part, right? Nobody gets to just take over control of your bank account unless they're the IRS or something like that. Well, the but- spouse does. To some extent. To some extent, but like you can have a bank account that your spouse, you know, can't access without like a court order or something like yeah, that, theoretically. That. So I mean, you know, these are these are situations where, you know, if you it's a unique situation that if you are not of sound mind, that somebody else gets to make certain decisions for you. A person can decide where you get to live. They can put you in a home against your will. And where normally, you know, this would be considered kidnapping, and to do it lawfully, you'd have to have like a warrant or something like that. But if you're in a position where you're not of sound mind, then and somebody gets to make other decisions for you. Now, we can understand, I think, like if a if a stranger or like a caregiver at the nursing home started having sex with this woman, like I can understand the concern there, right? Yeah. That like, okay, so this woman's not of sound mind, so this stranger comes along and has sex with her. We're, I think it's totally normal to call this guy a rapist and say he's the worst type of criminal, get him out of this industry at the very least, and possibly, yeah, let's consider putting this guy in prison because we say that this woman isn't ready to consent. Well, I think if there's consent going on that I'm not prepared to say that he needs to be charged or she or whomever um, needs to be charged. But I am willing to say that you're in the wrong line of work if you're, uh, you know, agreeing to sex with your patients um, when you're a caregiver. Right. It, it, yeah. At, at the very least, we should say that this guy should not be working or woman should not be working in this place if they're going and taking advantage of mentally disabled people. Because even if they're asking for the sex, I mean, it's just sort of like at, at the very least, it's unprofessional. Right. Yeah. We wouldn't we wouldn't want if, if you put your mother into a nursing home and then found out that some nurse there was, you know, having sex with her. I, I imagine you'd be kind of upset about it. Right. Right. I mean, well, for instance, if it's a psychiatrist, suppose I'm going to a psychiatrist and uh, then we begin to have uh, relations or whatever. 
I feel that's unprofessional, too. I don't think that person, if there was a way to fire them, I would. But at the very least, it, it should be publicized in the local in local news uh, that, oh, my God, are you kidding me? A psychiatrist is having sex with, you know, me. I consider myself completely capable of making that decision. But, you know, I, I, you, you got to cut off the professional relationship. There should be a period of time that uh, sort of a cooling off period where you make your decision as to whether or not to date. And then you can do that. But I, I don't know. I sort of always hope that like Tony Soprano would hook up with his psychiatrist in the Sopranos. I don't know if you watched. That I hope that's too, but I don't have any idea what's going on there. Oh, OK. Well, <laughs> but in any case, but like so we, we would say like, OK, well, this is if it's a stranger, if it's a caregiver or something like that, we would say that there's a problem, whether or not we call them a rapist. Perhaps you and I disagree on that. Right. Right? Yeah. But we understand that there's a di- – but with them, we would also call that person a, a thief, right, if they took advantage of this person to take their money. Yes. Right? If they took this person out of their home and put them in a different place, we would call them a kidnapper. But yeah. we understand that the, the people closest to them, the family member, the, the spouse especially, gets a cha- gets a, to make certain choices for a person who becomes disabled that way. That, that much is obvious. It's true. What do you think? Is there a situation where an adult's not capable of making a sexual decision? 855-450-3733 or lrn.fm on Skype. It's that time of year again, and you know what that means. Cold and flu season. <coughs> but don't worry. HerbalHealer.com has you and your loved ones covered with our safe and natural products. Cold and flu fighters like beta-glucans, olive leaf antiviral capsules, grapefruit seed extract, HHA 4-herb capsules, elderberry power, and respirate. And don't forget about oregacillin for the lungs, normally $34.95, on sale now for only $25. Vitamin D3 120-count soft gels, only $9. Whole body and homeopathic detoxes for the lungs, kidneys, liver, lymph, and brain, normally $26.95, now just $20. HerbalHealer.com also offers correspondence courses to teach you how to handle your health naturally. And as always, new customers get a free 128-page catalog with your order. Visit HerbalHealer.com and click the Winter Specials button to save on our natural cold and flu-fighting products. HerbalHealer.com, healing the world with nature, one person at a time, since 1988. Hi, I'm Derek J. I don't want a politician to represent me. To me... Government is the idea that one group of people can coerce everyone to comply with an edict or face increasing punishments up to and including death. Despite perhaps the most noble of intentions, the best government services are a far cry from what could be provided for by voluntary interactions. Besides, the people who call themselves the government wage wars and put peaceful people in jail for crimes involving no victims. If Starbucks used some of its money to drop bombs, I wouldn't shop there. So why would I support the American empire? The empire does not require my consent. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. That's VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. I am a non-attorney spokesperson. Attention men who've taken Androgel or any other testosterone therapy products. Androgel or other low-T products have been linked to heart attack, stroke, 
pulmonary embolism, deep vein thrombosis, even death. Scientific studies indicate that the use of testosterone therapy products may double a man's risk of heart attack. If you or a loved one took androgel or a testosterone therapy product and suffered from a heart attack, stroke, pulmonary embolism, deep vein thrombosis, or any other cardiac event, you might be entitled to financial compensation. You have rights, and you need to let us fight for your rights. And you pay no fees unless we win. So call the Tort Attorneys right now. 800-708-7917. 800-708-7917. 800-708-7917. Cases may be referred to participating law firms in your jurisdiction. You can put the Liberty Radio Network on the air in your area. Visit broadcast.lrn.fm to learn how. Broadcast.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. 855-453. That's 855-450-3733. You can call in and talk about whatever is on your mind. It's Mark with you. And Cantwell. 855-450-3733. We're talking about this situation where this Iowa legislator, and I guess that doesn't really matter, this Iowa man... Yeah, I mean, I, I, there's an article about this on, on my website, ChristopherCantwell.com, where I, I sort of started off with, like, I don't like this guy, right? Like, he's a, he's like a moderate Republican. He's he's sort of, like, voted for some bad stuff uh, against medical marijuana and uh, uh, supported a ban on texting and all different sorts of, like, you know, status things that I don't like. But those are all good reasons for the people of Iowa to, like, vote him out or string him up or something like that. It's not a good reason to charge him with rape. Uh, agreed. Um, there's a... Can't well during the uh, the break you were asking me about in freedom's cause. Uh, there's there's a copy right there that I just let uh, let you have, um, and it's a it's a really great two CD set of audio theater, and it, it's wholesome for the whole family. I'm sorry, there's there won't be any cussing in it for you. Can you handle that? I might. I'll I'll edit it. I'll <laughs> I'll like insert some dirty stuff. I'm sure that William Wallace probably cussed at some point in his life. Might have done that a couple of times. But we probably wouldn't recognize them as cuss words. <laughs> <laughs> they probably have been like you just like, over the years gone out of the vernacular. <laughs> but this is the story of William Wallace and Robert the Bruce. And this is just not any ordinary audio theater. Not that you find uh, or, audio theater is pretty much extraordinary these days because you don't find much of it right but this is a this is a two cd production it's a feature length essentially it's got big time actors in it joanne froggett from downton abbey billy boyd from lord of the rings skandar keens from chronicles of narnia james cosmo from braveheart and it, it's it's just laid out in fact it's narrated by a you know a man with an incredible voice and a big name ian recognized it i don't have it right here in front of me but it's um Yep. It's it's really a great story. It's the story of the struggle for of human freedom, one of the greatest stories of uh, the struggle for human freedom in history. It's in freedomscause.com and you can get the family four pack for half price with coupon code FTL. It's in freedomscause.com, use coupon code FTL, get the family four pack. It's 50 bucks um, for all four of them. That's 12.50 a piece. And those are great gifts. You can give those to the kids in your life. Adults, uh, history buffs will enjoy it too. Infreedomscause.com, coupon code FTL. I will not steer you wrong. This thing's amazing. Yeah, he. Uh, I actually asked him during the break. I said, hey, well, we're not advertising them. Is this thing worth listening to? And he was like, yeah, absolutely. So... Jack loved it. Um, he, he was really enthralled, and Laura and I, um, you know, we listened to it at the same time. It's really, it's a great story. I'm going to check it out. Infreedomscause.com. Let's go to... Let's go to Greg calling in from Brooklyn. Greg, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Brooklyn! Hey, what's going on, guys? What's going on, Greg? Um, so I uh, just wanted to talk about, I guess, outcomes, uh, because there's sort of two conversations. You know, this is the thing it's, about New Sounds York like City. you're about to have a bad outcome. <laughs> <laughs> this is the thing about New York City. It's never quiet there. Um, I've gone to New York City and tried to spend the night. Jeez, it's noisy all the time. Go on, Craig. Looks, it looks like it's on a tax dollars at work, huh? Uh, anyway. <laughs> um, Where so I live, I wanted... ambulances are uh, pay per ride. 
Oh, wow. Okay. That's Can you believe that? That somebody would want a service like getting to the hospital so badly they'd pay for it. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, I, I cannot imagine. I guarantee they're um, cheaper no, than I, your rides. <laughs> so I, I kind of wanted to talk about, um, you, you know, welfare, like uh, kind of like wealth redistribution, stuff that liberals talk about. Um, well, I mean liberals, like uh, progressive type liberals, not yes. possible liberals. Um, but I uh, want to say up front, like a lot of the time when I have this discussion, I was one more, oh, it looks like a fire, big fire truck. Um, so I, when I have discussions with libertarians, like it's always it becomes like two or three different topics where uh, I'm talking about outcomes and like yes, maybe the data supports that outcomes are actually better, as in like measurably things uh, improve uh, for pe- for more people. But uh, then the discussion is like, well, you're taking the money by force, and then it becomes like a moral discussion. So so we had know? I I remember you, Greg. You had called in last Wednesday when I was in here, and, and I'd actually invite you to go uh, to my website, ChristopherCantwell.com. I actually wrote a pretty lengthy okay. response to your call because the thing is, the, the truth of the matter is, Greg, like we're, we're doing a we're doing a three hour radio program. There's you know 15 minutes in between commercial breaks and stuff like that. It's difficult to hash out every individual point of this thing over the course. You know, we can't we can't dedicate an entire right. show to every different aspect of it. You know, but uh, I I actually wrote a, what I think is a, a pretty thoughtful response. So if you want to maybe pick out one portion of this, maybe we could try to talk about it for a couple minutes. And I think, uh, let me respond too, because I think that this is this is a complaint and it is a fair complaint because what happens is is that there's this, um, this, this war of think tanks because for every outcome that you're going to point out that's superior, hey, we've had welfare for a hundred years and, uh, you know, education's increased. Take a look at this. People are better fed or whatever the outcomes you're going to look at are. There's somebody on the other side who's done a study that says that that's happened in spite of the things that you've said. So there's a the war of the studies doesn't really get us anywhere. And that's one of the reasons that we on this show and libertarians generally tend to retreat to the moral uh, argument because the moral argument is a sort is sort of hey well you know if wherever you got you got by killing maiming and destroying is it okay right and i think that's a fine argument to have as well but if you have a moral argument you can't then go right back to saying well you know for example property rights in laissez fair capitalism are totally justified because look they've led to better outcomes all around the world you can't go back and forth and sort of deny that right to the other person, but then you, you know, invoke uh, a completely different uh, description. Yeah, yeah, we we actually we actually can do that. We can do it, and we're very good at it. Yeah, Greg. that's exactly that's exactly you know we, we're, we're the we're the guys with the microphone, so I mean, we can sort of do whatever we want. Um, but you fairly pointed out, and you're one of the few who's ever pointed it out throughout the years. Um, but I mean, I, I think that you one has to if one bases one's philosophy on property rights, and most people do to some extent or another, like. You know, the liberal argument on property rights is it's not that property rights don't exist. It's usually that property rights are what I say they are. And so you have the sort of the shifting sands of property rights um, because you don't right. believe that property doesn't exist. Right. I would say that, for example, you may disagree with intellectual property and someone else may agree. And there you go. You know, property rights are not inherently in nature. They are a convention like any other right. In my opinion, but they're a pretty common convention. Uh, like you know, animals guard territory. Uh, you know, you reach into, you reach for a dog's bowl, you're liable to get bit. That kind of thing. Yeah, of course. And on the level of like a village, that's totally fine. But when you get into like, you know, you just to name like off the top of my head, there could be like adverse possession. There could be uh, easement. There could be all sorts of things that we don't think about. But that arise in a complex society, so I don't think that property rights themselves. Well, and Milton Friedman or someone like that would agree with that. You know, oh, he, he would. would. Say, oh, now, when you when obvious. you say they arise in a complex society, I don't know exactly what that means. Is just because they are the way they are today doesn't mean that they have to be the way that they are today. I mean, because right. the people That's that rule saying. us they don't have to be that way. They, they can be any way. In different societies, they are in different ways. You know, they're Muslim banks that don't charge uh, interest. Because of the religious laws, uh, it could be whatever it is, and that's what it is. And uh, saying that uh, capitalism, uh, in a certain uh, a certain form of capitalism, is the, the most moral uh, thing, 
It may be in that society, but that's only because the property is defined way by law. That law is still legislated by lawmakers. It's that's true, Greg, but um, when I back, the, the way I've managed to back you into a corner in the past that you haven't been able to get out of is, am I free to go? Am I being detained? And my question to you is this. You say that the, it's a complex society. Can I withdraw? Can I take my property and go and say, I don't want it anymore? Because I can tell you the people in the state won't let me do that. Well, I mean, I think you're, you should be free to go the same way that I'm free to leave Facebook, but then I won't get all the, the photos and all the, all the nice stuff that comes with it. Right. I don't want to pay for public yeah. school. Why should I have to pay for public school? I think if you move away from the United States, you won't have to. Oh, pay now I've got to. Uh, love you it or the leave it. Owns my land? Love it or leave it. Yeah. Move to you are Somalia, Mark. To create your own unique holiday done, cards Greg. and gifts. For all of you, there's Vistaprint.com. At Vistaprint.com, creating personalized holiday cards is simple. Choose from hundreds of designs and add your own photos and special messages. And there's 60% off. Plus, personalized one of a kind gifts are also to 60% off. It's our best deal of the season. But hurry, offer ends December 7th. The only way to get this incredible deal is to go to Vistaprint.com. Click the microphone in the upper right corner and enter code radio 60 vistaprint.com code radio the word 60 are you searching for your soulmate someone you can trust who will never betray you or cooperate with the nsa stop searching with easy dns you found a keeper easy dns does it all domain names web hosting and managed wordpress hosting easy dns stands up for your internet freedom and with servers in canada they do not cooperate with the nsa Go to EasyDNS.com. You'll love their services or get a full refund. They guarantee it. And they accept Bitcoin. That's EasyDNS.com. The experts at Web.com want to build your business a successful website for free, just like we did for these current Web.com customers. We've used and and looked at other website designers, but there's nobody better than Web.com. Web.com can build your website in as little as seven days free. Plus, we'll promote it on all the major search engines like Google, Yahoo, and Bing. If after 30 days you're happy, we'll continue to provide promotion, hosting, support, and maintenance, all for one low monthly fee. If not, cancel and pay nothing. If you're in business today and you don't have a web presence, you won't be taken seriously. Call right now and you'll also get a free .com or .net domain name for your new website powered by VeriSign, the world's leading domain name provider. Call 800-297-0154. That's 800-297-0154. No upfront charge for site build, after which ongoing fees apply. Rights to site are relinquished when canceled. Domain included during active service, after which fees apply. That's 800-297-0154. Free Press Publications is an independent, alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary on the website fpp.cc, as well as a daily five-minute newscast, FPP Radio News, and weekly news, views, and commentary in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com, and the monthly newspaper, FPP News at news.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at FPP.cc. That's FPP.cc, as in Creative Commons. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. Radio is the most personal of mediums. I exist right now in your head. If you listen to Free Talk Live regularly, you know me. Free Talk Live is on more than 160 radio stations around the U.S. and has been downloaded on every continent around the world. Hundreds of thousands of listeners with ad packages from $600 a month to $6,000 a month. Imagine what we can do for your business, project, website, or idea. Email me, mark at freetalklive.com. You can connect with the Liberty Radio Network via our Facebook page at facebook.lrn.fm. That's facebook.lrn.fm. Free 
Free Talk Live, 855-450-3733. That's 855-450-FREE. That 3733 spells out free. If you've still got one of those phones that has letters on it. You know, I was a kid. Everything was, all the phones were attached to the wall and they had letters on them. And it was really a big deal to have something that spelled something out. But not so much anymore. Yeah, now, you know, they've got uh, different prefixes and all different sorts of things. You can sort of pick your phone number. I've been through this a, a few times, marketing agencies and stuff. we got to get your phone number. Let's spell something catchy. <laughs> <laughs> 855 four. 50 free. Uh, it's the holiday season. If you're still doing shopping, which, uh, you know, maybe maybe you are, please do your shopping through shop.freetalklive.com. That is, you know, frankly, the Christmas time shopping is a big boost for us. It's very helpful. We have uh, links there for Walmart, uh, for Amazon, other online retailers, uh, including Newegg. And gold.freetalklive.com, too. So just go there, shop.freetalklive.com. And let's go to Jimmy calling in from Arizona. Jimmy, you're on Free Talk Live. How y'all doing? Hey, Jimmy. How's it going there, uh, Mark, Chris Camp? Well, hey, uh, I was having myself another bad week. Sorry to hear uh, that. Yeah, well, I watched that uh, Beverly Hills Chihuahua Part 2, so that cheered me up. I didn't even know there was uh, such a thing. Uh, yeah, a oh, great movie. <laughs> Y'all should check it out. <laughs> it's one of, the, anyway, one of the opuses of our time. Yeah, it sure is. It's right next to RoboCop. It's good. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, I kind of got upset and trying to figure out what I'm going to do when I get up there to New Hampshire. I uh -huh. tried, I applied to to the Keene Police Department. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, they said my IQ was too high. Yeah. So, <laughs> I can yeah. hardly believe that. Yeah, and that's ridiculous. So, you know, now uh, I, I may have sorry. to... Yeah, Milford, my wife, I don't I don't know if Christopher Cantwell knows her or not. Uh, I actually, good. I think I know your wife pretty well, Jimmy. Yeah, well, good, good. She's, <laughs> she's friendly. Yeah, she, she may have to get a job up there and support us. But nice way of putting it. Kind of a yeah, she got a particular skill set. <laughs> and uh, what? Well, I mean, it's serious, boys. You know, uh, it's a good job. She makes a lot of money. Um, I don't know if y'all. I don't think I've told y'all before what she does. Uh, but she's a uh, plus size hand and foot model. She's a plus size <laughs> hand and foot model. Okay. Yeah, yeah. When somebody needs like, uh, I don't know, flip flop with some cankles in it you know <laughs> Jeez. i thought when you called in last time wasn't she working on some kind of documentary about how to breastfeed your pets <laughs> yeah yeah well she's busy she's, she's a multi-talented gal she's got she a is. have you had a job in the last decade jimmy uh, oh probably about 40 45 jobs <laughs> you had 40 40. i don't know You're busy guy don't know jimmy got, yeah I, I don't know christopher campbell i'm not sure if he knows what it's like but you know People get angry at me all the time, you know, and <laughs> for taking I, all the jobs. <laughs> yeah, well, they say I got a bad personality or something. I don't know if y'all know what that's like. Yeah, some anyway. people say the same thing about me. They they call me a name that starts with A. <laughs> I'm surprised. You seem like a nice fella. Yeah, I figured you'd 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 find me to be a nice fella. So. <laughs> That's uh, I think you two would get along just fine. Yeah, <laughs> Jimmy, thanks for the update. Let us know if you managed to get that job with job with the Keene Police Department. You bet. I love you guys. <laughs> love thanks. you too, buddy. Oh, Jimmy's funny. <laughs> yeah. Uh, by the way, <clears throat> knowing the Keene Police Department, they do not have a, a limit on IQ. Some police departments do have that. Right. And that's why the joke's sort of funny, and why I feel like I have to clear it up <laughs> because the Keene Police Department doesn't have that prohibition. They probably don't need it. Well, yeah, you know the. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I, I just I, I don't imagine that there's like a lot of geniuses lined up around the block trying to become keen police officers. You know, I've I've met some pretty, you know what I've, I've met some pretty smart guys that work there. But um, they say that the reason that some police departments choose to do that is because uh, police work can be boring, and I don't know if smart people get bored uh, more easily than dumb people. I couldn't yes. answer that. Is that so? Yeah, you know, I think you come on. Anybody you, sitting there doing you, nothing's you, you look like a smart guy to me. I'm not I, I, I but yes, but I've only been a smart guy. I haven't been a dumb one. So I don't know whether I would get bored Okay, easy. that makes sense. Um I I've been drunk. <laughs> do you get do you get bored easy? Uh yeah. 
Yeah. Find See, myself multitasking and you're things a like that. Smart guy, you get bored easy. Other people are like, hey, I think I'll just I'll sit in the car and wait for somebody to drive by me when it's too fast, then I'll go threaten his life. I'll take your word for it. Let's talk to Mac calling in from Washington. Mac, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey fellas, how you doing there? Good to All's be with well. you, Mac. I just wanted to I just wanted to talk about uh, what you were talking about earlier about consent uh, to sex. Uh, back when I was in the Navy, way back when, uh, <clears throat> I was in during the tailhook scandal, which oh, that's maybe right. you might yeah. recall was uh, – my understanding of it was that it was a big party someplace, I think Las Vegas, where a bunch of naval officers basically had a had an orgy with a, maybe a bunch of hookers or maybe a bunch of other – naval uh, say, uh, sailor women, female sailors, or something like they that. They didn't I'm invite sure you, whatever exactly happened, what right? Happened, but it was a big, whatever it was, they exactly, didn't invite yeah, you. Yeah, it didn't involve me. <laughs> well, after that, then there was sort of this explosion of uh, rape accusations like there is going on now uh, in the Navy. And um, <clears throat> they had the uh, the Chiefs Association, which is chiefs in the Navy, chief petty officers are E7s and up. And they, they've always had the Chiefs Association as long as they've had chiefs, I think. And... Uh, the Chiefs Association kind of sort of acts like a parliamentary body almost. They get together, they have big conferences, and they actually propose new rules uh, for the Navy. And uh, sorry I'm a little bit buzzed right now because I'm, I'm smoking an illegal cigar that I could go to jail for, <laughs> okay. and I accidentally inhaled it. So I might be a little bit uh, stoned right now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but, God uh, forbid. Anyway, um, the Chiefs Association. The, uh, how dare yeah, you right. call into Free Talk Live yeah, intoxicated? Yeah, yeah. Ah. <laughs> it, exactly, yeah. But uh, anyway, so uh, when this whole thing came out, this was in about 91, 92 or thereabouts, um, there is, and as far as I know, always has been a rule in the military that you're responsible for what you do when you're drunk. If If you're in the Navy or the Marines or whatever, and you go out into town and you piss on the sidewalk, well, you can't go back and say, well, gee, I was drunk, and they'll say, oh, no, that's no problem. You were drunk. I, I see. It's it's no big deal. No, no, you're responsible for your actions. So keeping that in mind, what the Chiefs Association proposed and what was actually really considered as a new rule to be implemented was that uh, they, they started looking at these allegations of uh, sailor-on-sailor rape, and they determined that a lot of it involved drinking. So they proposed that a female sailor, if she's drunk, if she's had one beer, cannot consent to sex. However, if she's out there with a male sailor and they have sex and he's drunk, he's responsible for his actions, but she can't consent to sex. So therefore, any time a female and male sailor go out and get drunk and sex occurs, the male has raped the female. This well, was actually seriously proposed as a rule. It was shot down, but it was proposed. I'm, I'm glad to hear that it was shot down, but, I mean, this is a common theme, right? Like, there's a lot of people out there, Mac, yep. who, who would tell you that the—, the, the default position should be raped by default, right? That if there's uh, mm -hmm. there's any situation where later on, for whatever reason, the, the female feels regretful about the sexual experience, that she can turn around and report it as a rape. And people think that that's exactly how it should be. I mean, especially, uh, the, I, I'm glad it didn't catch on in the military, but you can imagine that people are trying to do it there, and that's part of the reason that people are trying to play up the sexual assault in the military line, but they're doing this on college campuses now, right? College campuses, the default position is it's a rape, that the male is a rapist, that we kick him out of school, and maybe we don't convict him of rape, but forever in his life, he will be marked as a rapist. And that's uh, that's something that's really catching on. You know, um, this, I think, comes down to the whole, I, I'm going to call it puritanical, but I don't really know, a Victorian maybe, uh, idea that the, the female sexual organs are very, very important. Because if I were to reveal to you that I'd had sex with people that I regret having sex with, you people, everybody would be like, so what? How very interesting. You had right. sex with some people you wish you didn't have sex with. Well, I guess you're going to have to deal with it, aren't you, buddy? Right. Whereas when um, oftentimes when women, especially young women, have sex with people and then regret it later, it sort of turns into something much more because that's an important place. 
Yeah, I mean, it's just simple supply and demand. I mean, you know, men are in more uh, more generally <laughs> just giving this stuff away. And me, me, meanwhile, you know, Much females are supply. driving up the price of it. And I mean, <laughs> you know, we had uh, a situation where there was a young lady who uh, spent some time in Keene who was uh, a professional of sorts. And uh, a bunch of young ladies got very angry with her because it was almost as if though she was driving down the price of this uh, product. <laughs> this commodity, yeah, <laughs> indeed. Well, yeah, yeah, I got you. It does yeah, happen. Um, I also wanted to mention that I'm the uh, I'm the white knight that called in last week that uh, that sort of stood up for the, the sexy coffee lady at the coffee stand. You did a and good job, Matt. I left out of that story. Thanks. Yeah, but I actually came to agree with Mark, where Mark said that uh, people were generally good but stupid because actually it was quite a stupid thing to do. That guy could have beat the daylights out of me. And you were wearing <laughs> lavender <laughs> pants. Thanks for the call, Mac. 855 450 3733. deals. Well, don't miss Lumber Liquidators Floor Buster deals. Get incredible discounts on your favorite floors at one time only prices. There's never been a better time to get a great deal on pre finished hardwoods, hand scraped hardwoods, gorgeous bamboo, top quality laminates, and get 26 months special financing plus get even more floor buster discounts in our stores the sale ends tuesday these deals will not wait until after the holidays visit lumberliquidators.com to find a store near you dvd books music instruments periodicals computers software electronics photo cell phone office products home and garden bed and bath furniture kitchen pet supplies automotive hardware apparel shoes jewelry grocery healthcare, sports and outdoors toys games used and more it's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. When I found the Free State Project, I knew it was the key to achieving liberty in my lifetime. It's awesome to be surrounded by like-minded, freedom-loving activists who've moved here to New Hampshire. From politics to civil disobedience, we have it all. Where I came from, it felt that no matter what I did, liberty was dying. Perhaps you feel the same way? Call 888-377-2515 now to learn more about the Free State Project. That's 888-377-2515 or visit freestateproject.org. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's post pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. You're listening to the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty news and activist updates. John Bush here with your Liberty Beat for Wednesday, December 16th, 2014. Gold is trading around $1,199, silver around $15.86, and Bitcoin is trading around $331. Today's metals prices are brought to you by Midas Resources Incorporated, helping clients convert their paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver. Get their 10 Reasons book free by calling 1-800-686-2237. That's 1-800-686-2237. Support also comes from eFood. Foods Direct, redefining the way you think about storable food. Learn more at eFoodsDirect.com slash the Liberty Beat. And now the news. On Wednesday, New York Times reporter James Risen was told he must testify at a January 5th hearing related to the upcoming trial of a former CIA agent charged with exposing classified information. Risen has been the focus of scrutiny by the U.S. government following the release of his 2006 book, State of War, which detailed CIA mistakes connected with attempts to sabotage Iran's nuclear program. The Department of Justice believes Risen's sources for the information is former CIA officer Jeffrey Sterling. The veteran journalist has so far refused to name his source. As part of the recently passed federal spending bill, the federal government has officially ended prohibition on medical cannabis. The move is seen as a win for medical cannabis advocates around the country. The 1,603-page measure included a provision that will prohibit federal agents from performing raids on medical cannabis dispensaries in states where the medicine is legal. 
Nine students from Brown University's Warren Alpert Medical School have released the Ferguson Decoded Project, a website designed to turn legal speak related to the case into easily understandable terms. The students revealed the website on Monday. The project aims to dumb down the autopsy report for slain teenager Michael Brown as well as Officer Darren Wilson's physical examination and DNA analysis. The students said the American public must be able to understand the evidence that the St. Louis Grand Jury used to reach its conclusions. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from the Conscious Resistance Network. Videos, news reports, and articles from a spiritual anarchist perspective. Experience the Conscious Resistance at theconsciousresistance.com. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Central Texas Gunworks, your online source for firearms, firearm accessories, and ammunition. They take major credit cards and now accept Bitcoin. Visit them online at shop.centraltexasgunworks.com. You're listening to the Liberty Beat for Wednesday, December 17th, 2014. Be sure you like the Facebook page at facebook.com slash the Liberty Beat. A federal judge has ruled that President Barack Obama's new immigration plan violates the U.S. Constitution. Judge Arthur Schwab of the Western District of Pennsylvania made the ruling during a trial related to a 42-year-old Honduran immigrant. Although the ruling will have no legal impact and was unrelated to the case, Judge Schwab said he ruled on Obama's executive order because the defendant could be eligible for relief under the plan. President Obama has said that the executive action will stop the deportation of more than 4 million undocumented immigrants. As a Republican-controlled Senate nears, upcoming Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell announced the first order for Congress will be approving the controversial Keystone XL pipeline. McConnell said the bill enjoys bipartisan support and will create new jobs. Opponents are against the bill because they say it will damage the environment, and they also oppose the use of eminent domain in seizing the land for the pipeline. Although Republicans believe they have the 60 votes needed to overcome a filibuster, President Obama has stated that he may veto the bill if it makes it to his desk. In an 8-1 to ruling, the Supreme Court held that a police officer's ignorance or misunderstanding of the law is perfectly acceptable. The ruling stems from the case of a North Carolina officer who pulled a vehicle over for a broken brake light. The officer found cocaine on Nicholas Bradley Hine, the passenger in the vehicle. However, North Carolina law states that vehicles are only required to have one functioning lamp, not two. Despite this, the justices stated the Fourth Amendment allows for some mistakes on the part of the government officials. Justice Sonia Sotomayor, the lone dissenter in the case, said the decision means further eroding the Fourth Amendment protection on civil liberties. You've been listening to The Liberty Beat. This is John Bush reminding you to live free and always question everything. According to a report released Monday, Americans currently lead the world in compressing big sandwiches into sufficiently biteable sizes, outranking countries such as Germany, Slovenia, and Ukraine in their sheer capacity to squeeze BLTs, meatball subs, and grinders into shapes that will easily and efficiently fit into their open mouths. Researchers pointed out that in series after series of tests, Americans consistently topped international rankings by implementing over 800 pounds per square inch of compressive force on sandwich categories as diverse as banh mi, croque monsieurs, or gyros, rarely hesitating for more than a moment before diving in and pushing the bread together and wedging it into their mouths. Even in the cases in which Americans failed to sufficiently compress a sandwich and say dropped a stray piece of bacon or avocado, they still led the pack on quickly scooping up this topping with their hands and eating it, sometimes even inventively doing so with a stray potato chip or french fry. This is the Onion News Network. Free Talk Live, 855-450-3733. That's 855-450-FREE. It's Mark with you. And Cantwell. You can give us a call, talk about whatever is on your mind. Kicking off the second hour of Free Talk Live, 855-450-3733 or lrn.fm on Skype. Let's just go straight to the phones, can't we? Well, we've been talking about this issue of the Iowa politician who had uh, apparently been charged with third-degree sexual assault for having sex with his wife, longtime wife, who 
apparently was suffering from some level of dementia. But yeah, I, Alzheimer's sex. patient in a nursing home who, you know, asked to have sex with him, and he gave her exactly what she asked for, and then her daughters from another marriage seemed to take issue with it, got him charged with, uh, he's facing 10 years in prison for sexual assault three. And it's an interesting question, as long as you're not the one who's charged, right? Like, when does consent start and stop? Let's go to Lainey calling in from Arkansas. Lainey, you're on Free Talk Live. Hi, guys. Um, first time caller. And I just want to say, first of all, that fella, Jimmy, I think his name was. Yes. A couple of calls ago. Sure glad I'm not his wife. <laughs> 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 I mean, oh, goodness. Anyway. <laughs> you know, Jimmy's just um, a fake caller, right? Oh, I know. He okay, is. good. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm a fake caller. <laughs> I'm hoping he's a fake caller, at least. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I'm an RN, and I've been a travel nurse. Uh, to many, many states. Yeah, thank you for your service. States. Well, thank you. I never had anybody say that. Well, you know, that's, that's what really yeah. stinks is there's only a few jobs that are it's okay to say that to, and they're all for the government. You know <laughs> what? <laughs> it's the rest of these people that make the world go round. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah. Anyway, I can't remember what state I was in, but I, I, I was in a nursing home uh, taking care of some patients there, and we had some patients that were... Uh, had dementia and Alzheimer's, but we had um, conjugal visits Interesting. for the married ones. Now, with Alzheimer's, there's different stages yeah, that sure. they go through. So it's not like, you know, they're all, they don't have cognitive ability. So, um, and like it, we would call it like sundowner's syndrome uh -huh. phenomena. And it's when the sun goes down or starts to go down, there's increased confusion, restlessness. Really? And yes, and it's usually during the middle stage of Alzheimer's. As it progresses, it goes away. It diminishes. Uh, so, you know, when it's late stage. So this guy in Iowa has a great case, I think, and I'm sure he's going to win it if he has a really good lawyer because they have, uh, the docs have, uh, and the social workers have, uh, test to measure the the degree of the cognitive impairment well that that's have. that's actually uh as long as you're you're bringing that up there's uh the the test that they mentioned in the article in the des moines register where, which was my source i'm 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 looking at an article from my website christophercantwell.com but i got the story from the des moines register and they talk about the brief interview for mental status or bims is that is that the test you're referring to oh i can't remember it was you know, I didn't. I haven't done psych in a long time. This was more, you know, okay. foreigners and uh, home health and hospice. But anyway, uh, you know, there is a test for that. So, you know, they they can do that. And um, you know, they have meds like Namenda that slows down the progress of the disease. And so, I think this guy's got a pretty good case. What I think, and this is just my take on it. It sounds like a family feud. Oh, yeah, that's Out precisely what this sounds like. And I can't believe that the uh, justice system allowed themselves to get involved. Oh, for goodness sake. I mean, it's ridiculous. I mean, they're, they're no nosing into such personal things in our lives. Talk about freedom. Where's it going? Indeed. Yeah, it, it is. Lainey, thanks for the call. It's crazy. Oh. And, and to... Uh, and you know, a, a little bit of information to add to this. So I mentioned, she mentioned that there's this test, okay? And in the article in the Des Moines Register, they talked about uh, this, the the brief interview for mental status or BIMS test. And they did say that, um, that okay, test subjects score from zero to 15 on a series of memory questions, such as what year, month, and day it is. They're given words like sock, blue, and bed and asked to repeat them. Donna Rahan scored two on a BIMS test. Uh, given to her on April 3rd and a zero on a May 31st, uh, May 13th test. But we don't know whether this was in the evening at sundown uh, or, or what. Right. So, I mean, there's, you know, this woman is definitely suffering from some impairment, you know, yeah, it's, sure. it's, it's, and it's, and it's getting to the point that it's, you know, pretty significant. So that is, that is worth pointing out, but also it's also worth pointing out that like, look, people don't uh, necessarily lose all interest just because they start forgetting the names of their children and yep. stuff. Right. So these people, I, I wrote an article last 
year titled um, Alzheimer's patients are getting laid more than you are. <laughs> and like <laughs> they and, don't remember the last time they did it. Right. And they're and they're getting laid all the time. They're screwing each other in the nursing homes and stuff like that. And sometimes, you know, they're not even <laughs> having sex with their own spouses. I mean, they're doing this all the time. This is the spouse coming in who is of sound mind, who's going with his wife and that sort of thing. So there's this lady. I go to visit a friend. He's uh, just turned 85. He's at a a uh, care center. I don't know what to call it precisely. Um, it's a place where he lives. And there's this, and, and, you know, I talk to him for 45 minutes and then I take him to the grocery store and I bring him back. No big deal. About to do that about, about once a week. And this gal that lives at the same place, she'll come by and introduce herself sometimes three times in a sitting. <laughs> you know? right. And she's very pleasant, but has no clue who she's talking to. And, <laughs> you know, she's completely out of it. But uh, you know, she still functions and whatever. I mean, it's just it okay. You so gonna, you gonna throw one in her? Nothing. I was not. <laughs> <laughs> I was not. Let's go to John in uh, New Jersey. Uh, it apparently is about you being defriended on Facebook. John, you're on Free Talk Live. Hi. Hey. Hey, Christopher Cantwell. Hey, John. Hey, it's it's John T. Smith. Uh, I was just wondering if you remember anyway what, why you defriended me on Facebook. I think if I remember correctly, there was uh, maybe it was something in partisan oh, a, a exchange or something. Excellent. Yeah, I mean, this is I, I don't know how much interest this is to the Free Talk Live audience. It but is. Like, if if John called in, it's interesting. Why'd you Why'd you unfriend him? I don't I don't remember. You said something negative about me, and I'm like, look, I, I I'm fine to have uh, you. I, I, Look, the thing is, this is what I think it was, and I don't really remember the context of it, but generally what will happen is, you know, I don't know who you are, John. Like, I don't know who any of my Facebook friends are, and it's just, you know, we, we maybe communicate, uh, you know, a few times, but I really have no idea. There's there's 20,000 of you people, literally. So I don't know who everybody is, and I have to make room for people who I actually know because I've reached the 5,000 friend Facebook limit, and people are more than welcome to like my page and follow my posts and stuff like that. But I try to remove people from my friends list if I see them saying negative things about me because I want to, you know, the next time I date a girl, I'd like to be able to be Facebook friends with her. John, did okay. you call Craig Cantwell a Nazi? No, I didn't. <laughs> I made a joke about him promoting cop killing on his website, but I mean, I'm a, I'll tell you what, I don't care if you unfriend me. I'm still a big fan of yours because I think it's awesome. I love your website and everything. I appreciate but, that, yeah, and I hope I that you'll stick it, around. Like, Because like I said, I mean, the Facebook yeah, friend thing is just a, it's a it's a hard physical limit that I run into with Facebook. So if I see people making negative comments about me, I don't block them. I'm not telling you that you can't follow the posts. I'm not going to prevent you from commenting or anything like that. But on my own personal Facebook profile, I have a limit of Facebook friends. And so when I find room right. to remove people from it, I take the opportunity. That's all. It's nothing personal, bud. Right, right. Is that a good, John? You feel better? Yeah, I just wanted to let you know, too, for some reason it unfollowed me from your page, too. That's actually how I noticed was I stopped getting your updates, but then... Yeah, whatever. We're, it's good now. I was I was under the uh, impression that Facebook would continue to have the person as a follower. I'm surprised that that happened, and I'll look into how that works on social media. Thank you for the tip. Thanks for the call, John. Appreciate it. 855 450 free. This whole friending and unfriending on Facebook is an interesting conundrum that we have to deal with. I try not to. Uh, I don't take a friend request from somebody who I don't believe I have met. And many times I've met people and, you know, they've already sent me a friend request beforehand. So it's sort of sitting out there in limbo. So uh, it can be kind of a difficult thing to uh, to manage who's who's on, who's not, who sees what. Yeah, in in my in my case, like my entire Facebook profile is public, and I do have like the brand page for ChristopherCantwell.com, and I and I'm trying to use that more frequently than in my own personal profile. But like, I became sort of a public persona by accident, right? Like I just was like a guy with a Facebook page who people took an interest in, and so you know I have thirteen thousand followers on top of my five thousand friends. I have hundreds of friends requests pending so you know there are, i have to deal with that in certain ways 855-450-3733 you can call in and talk about alzheimer's or cantwell's friend list 855-450-3733 free talk live here's a special message for those of you who owe the irs at least ten thousand or more in back taxes the irs has special programs in place that could eliminate or reduce your tax debt by thousands of dollars 
Call the tax helpline that has been set up to help you. 800-691-6129. That's 800-691-6129. Stop the wage garnishments, levies, and tax liens now. Once you've qualified and enrolled, the IRS will stop all the collection activities against you. These unique programs have been allocated to help the economy and significantly reduce or eliminate your tax burden. The IRS is currently accepting reduced settlements and other favorable programs. You may qualify for substantial savings, so get the help you need. For free information and to see if you qualify, take down the number now for the Tax Representation Hotline. 800-691-6129. That's 800-691-6129. 800-691-6129. On the average, Americans work between 45 to 50 years hoping to build up enough wealth to retire and live out their golden years. Unfortunately, with taxation, the rising cost of food, energy, housing, and medical, many retirees are forced to live below the poverty line. Is this a flaw free enterprise, or is our monetary unit we call the Federal Reserve Note forcing us into perpetual debt, ensuring inflation and higher taxes? These questions and more can be answered by reading G. Edward Griffin's book, The Creature from Jekyll Island. Congressman Ron Paul states it's what every American needs to know about central bank power, a gripping adventure into the secret world of international banking cartel. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. I will give a silver dollar from the early 1900s to anyone who purchases this book. Call 1-800-686-2237 and order a copy today. It's critical that the public be made aware of the system. Call and order your copy today at 1-800-686-2237. That's 1-800-686-2237. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on doing the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Nestle Pure Life Water, helping you drink better and live better by providing a zero-calorie alternative to sugary drinks. Visit us at nestle-purelife.us. When kids are playing, they often don't want to stop to keep hydrated, so send them out with a bottle of water and encourage them to take frequent drink breaks or call them inside for a quick sip. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, 855-450-3733. That's 855-450-FREE. You can call in, talk about whatever is on your mind. It's Mark with you. And Chris. Well, it's cold up here in New Hampshire, and it's probably a good chance it's cold where you are. It's nice and warm in Acapulco, and that's where I'm headed for Anarchapulco at the end of February. Jeff Berwick of the Dollar Vigilante is billing billing Acapulco as the new Liberty destination. And I want to see for myself. I want to see this Liberty town that just kind of sprung up in in Mexico. 
Um, I figure that Anarchopoco event is the perfect time to take a look. Speakers include, of course, Berwick and uh, Angel Clark, who just recently moved down there, but also Roger Veer, Cody Wilson, Nima V, Objectivist Girl, Luke Rudkowski, Dana Martin, the uh, the unschooling expert mom there, uh, Ernie Hancock of Freedoms Phoenix, and there's a lot more. Um, what more of a reason do you need to go to Acapulco in February? <laughs> it's going to be awesome. I'll give you a reason. The fact is the tickets are less than $100 if you register by uh, Christmas. So that's, uh, you know, hotels, they're reasonably priced. And there's workshops all week before it. But the real action heats up uh, February 27th through March the 1st. And you can go take a look and hang out with me and the rest of the Liberty crew down there. Take a take a look at the schedule. See what works for you. It's anarchapolco.com. It's the new Liberty destination. I'm going to say it real slow so you can type it in. Anarchapolco.com. But anarchopolco.com goes to... Pulco is uh, I don't uh, I don't know exactly the the spelling of it, but Anarcha yes. is the is what he's pushing it as I believe, and then yes. maybe he registered the, the other one it. just yes. in case you because, know as a redirect. Course. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, like I don't I don't know that you know going to Mexico is going to help you get freedom, but at the same time I do like Jeff's a, Jeff's awesome. <laughs> I love I love Jeff Burwick and he's so funny, and I and I know that he knows how to throw a party. So if you go to this thing, you're at least going to have a blast. There's no question about it. That much is true. And when you're talking about uh, heading down, I mean you know the 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 travel and hotel is pretty good comparative if you're thinking about going on a vacation why not go on a vacation where you're going to hang out with a bunch of liberty folks and have a great old time tickets are a hundred dollars if you book by uh, christmas so it's anarchapolco.com oh we we burned through the calls can't well so uh back to the the story of what is this guy's name that is being charged yeah with? his name is Henry Rayhans and and he is a uh, I don't know if I'm spelling uh, pronouncing it correctly but that's what it reads as and so he's a he's a Republican uh, legislator in Iowa who's now charged it's with third degree sexual assault uh, for uh, having sex with his wife uh, who is an Alzheimer's patient and was you know she was put in a nursing home by her daughters from a previous marriage and it does seem to me I went and I against looked, his will which yeah. i think uh is probably illegal yeah he was not happy about it at all and you know exactly what the the legalities of that surrounding it is not something i investigated but i did look into the daughters so his daughters uh her her daughters from the previous marriage uh do appear to have some political leanings too so uh uh, I'm trying to find the, the really. They don't like the new dad that's a Republican, and they in, might be Democrats. Right, exactly. Mm. So one of them, I I would manage to find her Facebook profile, and she's involved in a certain number of causes. She lists her. Uh, she, if you look at her LinkedIn, she's been endorsed for uh, public speaking, community organizing, this sort of thing. Yeah. And her Facebook, her uh, her Facebook likes. There's two Democratic candidates for office that that she had publicly liked their Facebook pages and is displayed there. So there's some suspicion that it's politically motivated. And that doesn't surprise me in the slightest, right? Because, I mean, if you're like a left-wing, uh, you know, uh, if you're a, a lefty liberal lunatic, you probably, uh, especially if you're a female lefty liberal lunatic, probably got some pretty crazy ideas that you're getting from your feminist pals about sex and consent and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, it's... So I, I think that there's, you know, there's a continuum here as far as consent goes, and I think we're sort of working it out. I feel bad that this fella is part of the whole let's work out what the continuum of consent thing is. But to me, I'm of the opinion that once you get married, consent, this consent needle goes from no to yes. That doesn't mean that I think that a woman is obligated to have sex with her husband every time he demands it. I'm not claiming that at all. I'm claiming that the default uh, if my wife, if for whatever reason I became mentally incapacitated, and my wife felt the need, the urge, the desire, or whatever to service herself upon me um, in that state, I don't think I would not feel raped. Yeah, I would. I would go further. I mean, like, look, if a woman, if a woman comes over my house and has sex with me, I mean, even without getting married, if if I have sex with a woman and then she decides to sleep in my bed, like, guess what? You're getting fondled in the middle of the night. You know, like, there's a good chance that you're going to wake up to some sort of sexual contact. And uh, you know, I assume, I think I have a reasonable assumption that you're into it because you're in my bed and you're naked, right? And so you marry someone, you probably do this, you know, 
hundreds of times over the course of years. And then you're in a nursing home and, you know, sort of, yeah, the, the implication is, hey, I'm really into having sex with you. And by the way, she's, again, asking for it. She's saying, you yeah, know, this I want to have sex. a woman who's, like, laying there uh, with tubes coming out of her nose by any means. No, not at all. And she's, you know, she's, she's uh, there's there's definitely some mental incapacitation there. They, they had this BIMS test, this brief interview for mental status, where they said, look, this woman's not capable of consenting to sex because she's having trouble, you know, figuring out what month it is or whatever, right? Sure. And so, as I said earlier, we can understand that, like, you know, if a stranger or a caregiver or something like that, you know, had sex with her, we might say that that person was taking advantage of her, but she'd be also, uh, you know, we'd also call them a thief for taking her money or a kidnapper for relocating her. But we understand that her husband, her family members have some right to make those decisions for her. Yeah, I think that, uh, you know, I mean... So this is it, it kind of gets into this impairment thing. If, for instance, somebody she was in with a, another Alzheimer's patient or her husband who had Alzheimer's and two people with Alzheimer's decide to have sex that are taking the BIMS test and scored poorly on it or whatever. Who's who's the rapist in that circumstance? As as far as these people who are really having, uh, as far as this whole rape culture crowd goes, the male is a rapist. That's what they're they're going to pitch. Male is a rape is a male crime. It's a crime that men commit. And they try to paint men as rapists, and that's what I think that that's what this whole entire thing is about with the with the rape culture demonstrations on the campus. With this case, with the with the playing up of the military sexual assaults, it seems like every other day I see some story about some demonstration about. About rape in India. I mean, all of this garbage is feminist misandry. It's it's man hate. Well, I, I certainly men commit more rape than women com commit. Um, I, so I think that one can make that argument. But I think that the rape culture is narrowing the picture for the purpose of political gain. So, for instance, I would contend there is no rape. The rape culture is a facet of violence culture. That this world is, uh, the, like, everything's contention uh, c uh, is based on violence. And that men are the victims of violence far more often than women are the victims uh, of violence. So sexual assault is a form of assault. And it's one that is really looked down upon in our society. But I think that it, it, people that sort of push the rape culture thing are essentially diminishing People, men, because they're the victims of the vast majority of violence in this world, but their violence doesn't count because it didn't happen in this special spot with that other special spot. Yeah, they, they don't care uh, for men, and I mean, men are actually raped more frequently than women, too, if you count males. prisons. Uh, you know, males are... I don't know. that The, the, the prison statistic was done in 1976, uh, That the, the, the study you're talking about, and having been in prison from 89 to 98, I could say that the amount diminished dramatically in Probably. my experience. 855-450-3733. Knowledge of the ancients. Tried and true, trusted herbs and extracts fused with the latest nutraceutical science. Introducing the all-new Ancient Defense Herbal Immunity Blend, crafted with over 14 key ancient herbs and extracts to supercharge and prepare your body for what experts admit is the most dangerous season of the year. We have rejected hundreds of other formulations in our quest to bring you what is simply the most powerful and comprehensive proprietary formula that we have ever created in the realm of herbal immunity. For the last two years, our team has been working with top doctors, nutritionists, and chemists to develop the ultimate nutraceutical formulation. Experience the benefits of combining over 14 ancient herbs and extracts with exciting new advances in nutraceutical science. Now is the time to secure ancient defense for you and your family. Visit ancientdefense.com or call 888-253-3139. That's ancientdefense.com. Now, how much money will all those closeted Republican convention goers bring into the city, Marie? A lot. The average area prostitute normally makes around two to three hundred dollars a week jerking off truck drivers behind the bus station. I see. Next week, they are expecting to make 30 times that amount sucking off secretly gay Republicans. <laughs> wow. You figure the fact that these delegates are so repressed and filled with self-hatred. Yes. They tend to like the filthiest, kinkiest sex acts imaginable. Oh, that's which right. Which tends to cost more. The average well-adjusted gay man has no desire to smear fecal matter all over his partner's <laughs> face no. be beat up by him. But that is exactly the sort of thing that these repressed conservatives are willing to pay top dollar for. Okay, as well as the services of transsexuals, I oh, understand. Yes. A, a lot of the Republicans repeatedly call the prostitutes faggots or True. start crying after they've had sex with them. I suppose the prostitutes are shoring up on their politics so they can talk to the Republicans. Ha ha, Andrea, what do you think this is? Pretty woman? They're just there to get 
Right. Thank you, Marie Byron. Oh, RNC's always a good time. This is the Onion News Network. Are you a political activist who does things that the government might not like? Then this free ebook may save your life. Rats is your guide to protecting yourself against snitches, informers, informants, agents provocateur, narcs, finks, and similar vermin. Rats was written by OG libertarian Claire Wolf. Rats is a short book, easy to read, and available free in many formats. Download Rats free at rats-nosnitch.com. That's rats-nosnitch.com. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keen. Keen is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keen. Keen is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more, all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. Help get LRN.FM into more ears. Visit promote.lrn.fm for a free bumper sticker, flyers, banners, graphics, and more. Promote.lrn.fm. Talk Live, 855-450-3733. That's 855-450-FREE. And we recently got our Sherry's Berries. Uh, you should consider Christmas is right around the corner. It's next week. And if you haven't done your holiday shopping or enough of your holiday shopping, you need to do that. So here's the offer. Freshly dipped strawberries from Sherry's Berries starting at $19.99. That's more than a 40% savings. Or you can double those berries for just $10 more. I highly recommend this. You're going to want those extra berries. Because if you're getting them delivered to you know, a family member or something like that, you're going to want to try them. And then when you people start eating them, you're not going to stop because they are delicious. And then they're all going to be gone. And then you're going to have to wait for them to come in the mail again. So do it. Yeah. Double, double, double. Uh, so all you have to do is use coupon code FTL when you go to share uh, to berries.com. That's berries, B-E-R-R-I-E-S dot com. There'll be a microphone in the upper right hand corner. You click on it, use type in uh, coupon code FTL. You'll get the special savings there of the 40 percent off. They're decadent, fresh, juicy, sweet, irresistible berries dipped in white milk and dark chocolate and they are incredible they're beautiful uh, which is sort of a a, a, a secondary thing because they taste incredible there's also other treats for those that aren't uh, of the strawberry in, uh, inclined but these aren't like the strawberries you get at the grocery store where half of them are sour mm. these are all delicious yeah they're top-notch berries and so with Christmas coming next week, there's only one way to get this amazing $20 offer, $19.99, Sherry's Berries. You can either call 866-FRUIT-02 or go to berries.com, click on the microphone in the upper right-hand corner, type in FTL. It's the perfect gift without all that hassle. You go to berries.com, click on the microphone, type in FTL or 866-FRUIT-02. Two, you will not regret this. I'm doing it. It's an easy decision for you. Berries.com. Going on here about this uh, th this fella out in Iowa who um, apparently has been charged for having sex with his wife, who wanted to have sex with him, but she's impaired. Yeah. So she's an Alzheimer's patient in a nursing home. 
and you, we were talking before we we went out there um, that about sort of consent, and uh, we were talking about the statistics of males being raped, and we were talking about prison statistics. Now, having been in prison for eight, eight years, six months, and twenty one days, I know a bit a bit about it. Now, I was in prison in Florida, which isn't like, I suppose, being in prison in Vermont, I suppose. <laughs> you know, it's, right. um, it was one of the four largest states. That means the prison population is pretty large. There's an ethnic divide uh, there and, uh, you know, not a pleasant place. I went in 1989. Uh, for those of you who wa- want to know and don't listen to the show on a regular basis, I uh, was in a hotel room where a man was killed. Um, I didn't. I should have talked to the police. I should have told the police the truth. If I was going to talk to the police, I should have told them the truth. I did not do that. Um, essentially, giving my co-defendant the opportunity to share his sentence with me. So he did. Nonetheless, uh, whether you know whether I killed a man or not is really irrelevant. What uh, we're talking about here is uh, going to prison. And uh, when I first went, it was a pretty scary place. Now, obviously, perspective changes over time. But they kind of cracked down on violence in the prison, and as a result, there just weren't very many rapes from what I could tell. Uh, I would have called rapes uh, infrequent but not unheard of when I arrived, and by the time I left, I used to uh, joke with the um, with other inmates that I could walk down the compound with a G-string made of $100 bills, and none of them would do anything to me. I mean, what is it, what, it, what happened, though? Do you think that they just clamped down on security, or they started punishing people more harshly, or what was the thing that I, changed, do you I, think? You know what the—let's see, is it the broken, window theory, broken windows theory? Uh, this is how New York City went from being sort of a crime-ridden to a much nicer place. And the idea is, is that you crack down on smaller crimes in order to prevent larger crimes. And I think that this is exactly what was done in the, the prison, is essentially they, they just— cracked down on every sort of behavior and as a result um, the inmates were afraid to step out of line a little bit and so they didn't step out of line a lot yeah i mean i i know that when i was in you know county jail i mean you got messed up for a, a pretty minor infraction and i don't imagine that that improves a great deal when you go to uh to state prison and of course you know if, if you're going to get in trouble for smoking a cigarette or something like that then bending a man over a, a chair and 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 taking his uh, uh i don't know how much i should say <laughs> i'm not used to this whole fcc thing <laughs> but uh you know that you could get yourself in a great deal of trouble for forcibly having sex with somebody uh in a place where you are surrounded by police but i mean i had gone into it because there's a there's a statistics that's commonly thrown around in like men's right my, men's rights movement circles that like when you when you count prison that there's statistically men are more likely to get raped than women and and perhaps that's from an older study but i was just trying to to pull this up uh an estimated four percent of state and federal inmates and three percent three point two percent of uh local jail inmates reported experiencing one or more incidents of sexual victimization by another inmate or faculty staff in the past 12 months or prior since the administration to the facility now, what does sexual victimization this is, mean? This is in uh, a 2011 to 2012 uh, study. So, I mean, sexual victimization, though, like, look, we, uh, if let's say even like, uh, look, if, if a man's in prison and a female guard offers to have sex with him, like, he's probably not going to be all that upset about having sex with the female guard, right? It doesn't like, sound like rape. It sounds like charity. It does. But at the same time, like, if you if you deprive a man from the outside world, if he is your prisoner, then, then you know, he, him consenting to sex is kind of like a weird dynamic, right? I mean, people will talk about, like, Thomas Jefferson, uh, if, you, if you do it, a search for Thomas Jefferson. I forget the name of the the the, the slave that he- Hemings. Yeah, Sally Hemings. Right. So Thomas Jefferson was having sex with Sally Hemings, who was his slave. Well, can your slave consent to having sex with you? Oh, he gave her special privileges. He gave her nicer quarters. I bet he, he did. You know, he probably did a lot of nice things for him, and he said that he loved Sally. So people are like, no, he wasn't a rapist. He loved Sally Hemings, right? No, they're your captive. You can't. They're your property. You can't. Your property can't consent to sex, 
right? So I would say that, yeah, if a, if a, if a man has sex with a, with a female guard, the guard's in a position of power that, that uh, you know, he's been deprived of uh, sexual access to his wife or any number of women who he might d- prefer to have sex with. And then she offers him some sex and he goes for it. But, you know, it's, I'd still call that uh, sexual coercion. Well, I, I wonder, they use the term sexual victimization here, and I hate those terms. Yeah. I like rape or sexual assault because I know what those things mean. I can relate to that, yeah. So, uh, for instance, we would play games uh, where we grabbed each other's fanny and stuff like that. And is that sexual victimization? We'd say all kinds of awful, awful demeaning things to each other. <laughs> this is prison, right? I mean, right. like, you know, people are saying horrible, horrible things <laughs> yes, to each certainly. other. certainly. <laughs> And it's all done sort of in jest. And I can tell you that if things go from kidding around to serious, that you can immediately see everybody uh, like gets very defensive and will not let, uh, like, if one guy got serious and the others were, you know, playing around, the, the they'd turn on him in a second, beat oh, him yeah. into the ground. They'd wolf pack that. Yeah, I, I, I know that. You can't you can't go from a friendly game of grab ass to, <laughs> hey, I'm going to take you, you know, <laughs> right? gonna... without, without some serious repercussions. <laughs> Not just serious from the repercussions. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, hey, you're messing up the game for a second. We were having a good time calling each other horrifying names and <laughs> suggesting all kinds of awful things to each other. And then you want to say what we're take what we're saying seriously? Is, is it bad that we're laughing so hard about prison rape? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I suppose that if it had happened to me, I would maybe I wouldn't be laughing as much. Some, some people some, are out there definitely feeling triggered right now. Mark, I, I, you know? I'm really sorry to all those people be, <laughs> feeling triggered. I, I can say that there were situations where it was relatively close for me <laughs> but i mean um you know but at least you were uh you were of sound mind while you were in there you were obviously you know, captured but Un- you could think unlike this wife who is not of sound mind but willingly having sex i think it's a fascinating story uh 855-450-3733 your thoughts on the subject of consent or welcome or anything else 855-450 free free talk live Khalid lives in Gaza. He makes his living as a taxi driver. The engine in his old beater blew up. Now, he makes good money driving people in his cab, but he couldn't afford the $1,300 for a new engine. Free Talk Live helped him get a loan for the engine, and he's back on the road. You can help us help more people by getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Make a difference. One cup at a time. Get a free pound to try out the subscription. Cancel any time. Coffee.freetalklive.com. For all of you who are inspired to create your own unique holiday cards and gifts. For all of you, there's Vistaprint.com. At Vistaprint.com, creating personalized holiday cards is simple. Choose from hundreds of designs and add your own photos and special messages. And there's 60% off. Plus, personalized one-of-a-kind gifts are also to 60% off. It's our best deal of the season. But hurry, offer ends December 7th. The only way to get this incredible deal is to go to Vistaprint.com, click the microphone in the upper right corner, and enter code RADIO60. Vistaprint.com, code RADIO, the word 60. It's that time of year again, and you know what that means. Cold and flu season. (coughs) But don't worry. HerbalHealer.com has you and your loved ones covered with our safe and natural products. Cold and flu fighters like beta-glucans, olive leaf antiviral capsules, grapefruit seed extract, HHA four herb capsules, elderberry power, and respirate. And don't forget about oregacillin for the lungs, normally $34.95, on sale now for only $25. Vitamin D3 120-count soft gels, only $9. Whole body and homeopathic detoxes for the lungs, kidneys, liver, lymph, and brain, normally $26.95, now just $20. HerbalHealer.com also offers correspondence courses to teach you how to handle your health naturally. And as always, new customers get a free 128-page catalog with your order. Visit HerbalHealer.com and click the Winter Specials button to save on our natural cold and flu-fighting products. HerbalHealer.com, healing the world with nature, one person at a time, since 1988. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! On your knees! 
That's a problem, officer! Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I'm an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate, well, I know a guy who's really great. It's the realtor Mark Warden. Do you want a home with 20 acres, a lakeside cabin, any takers for renters, buyers, and sellers too? Mark Warden is the guy for you. PorcupineRealEstate.com this is the Liberty Radio Network, broadcasting the latest liberty-oriented audio content 24 hours a day at LRN.FM. Free Talk Live, 855-450-3733. That's 855 450 free and you can call in and talk about whatever you want if you want to talk about having sex with alzheimer's patients if you want to talk about prison rape you know whatever whatever's on your mind just give us a buzz it has been a strange show (laughs) (laughs) it always seems to happen with you on the air can't well we got to keep things interesting and it's well it's got to be interesting right yeah i i I love uh i I love derailing things it just (laughs) yeah that's totally off course direction so much more fun this way you can go get a free pound of coffee at coffee.freetalklive.com and this isn't your average ordinary coffee this is an upgrade to your coffee drinking experience. It's 100% organic, top 1% grade Arabica beans, shade-grown coffee. It's called BuzzBox, and you can get a free pound by going to coffee.freetalklive.com. Now, you pay for the shipping, and it is a subscription program, and you can cancel at any time. You can get your coffee, cancel. It's cool. Not a problem. Um, But if you continue to get your coffee there, as the vast majority of people who go to coffee.freetalklive do, they continue on getting the coffee. It's amazing. We will be able to give, for every 10 people per month that get their coffee at coffee.freetalklive.com, we're able to give another micro loan out to another person or family around the world to help them with whatever it is they need, whether they need restaurant equipment or a plow or to get a car fixed or to buy more cows. Um, You're able to help in this way. And I think that that's incredibly powerful uh, mechanism because it's not a handout. It's a hand up coffee.freetalklive.com that, that sounds like it couldn't be better if like half naked girls were serving it to you <laughs> coffee i think in a lot of these countries that would be completely unacceptable coffee.freetalklive.com <laughs> why aren't there countries where that's acceptable i don't know it's uh, half naked girls serving coffee i mean I, I don't know they do it out in washington that was what mac was uh you know calling in yeah guys. yeah that's not a country Foxy washington Lady not a Latte. country but you know it's the united states it's inside of a country indeed you know. So uh, there's an article here, and I don't really know what I think about this, and that's, I guess, why I'm bringing it up. I I kind of fall on both sides of this. This is an article where President Barack Obama is sort of talking about, sharing his experiences of being black in the White House. So on one hand, you have arguably that he's the most powerful man in the world, right? Right. And- like hopefully inarguably but okay arguably the most powerful man in the world on the other hand he says that sometimes he gets told you know like somebody's not paying attention he's in a tuxedo and asks him to get a cup of coffee i can't say that this doesn't happen right i, I, I mean, mean 
I, I'm like I'm not going to call him a liar and say that he's never been asked for. A cup I'll, of coffee. I'll call him a liar, but I'm not going to call BS on this one. Okay, so yes, I will call him a liar, but I won't call BS on this particular thing. And I, I can't say that I wouldn't. In it, like the there's a narrative out there that it's unacceptable to uh, tell a ask a powerful black man for a cup of coffee to mistake him for perhaps a less powerful black man, right? Because right. there are black men in the world that serve coffee. Now, the suggestion is that somehow these black men are lesser than Barack Obama, which first I'd hmm, I'd like him to explain his position on that. I'm of the opinion that if it is your job to go get coffee, that that is a glorious thing and that you ought to get coffee like the Dickens. It was my job for many years to get people's coffee. And I tried very hard to get to make very good coffee, to serve the coffee the way that they wanted it, to have, if I knew the, the, the amount of sugar and cream that they had, to have that prepared. Now, am I some kind of lesser, disgusting life form because I served people coffee at one point? Well, I would say that your social status is considerably lesser than the president of the United States, but you know, I wouldn't call you a slime bucket for being good at uh, fetching coffee. No. What if I go? What if I go fetch people coffee now? For instance, we have Jeffrey Tucker who uh, who sits in on Free Talk Live at times, right? And Jeffrey Tucker likes to have a beverage while he's on the air. I ask him to sit on on Free Talk Live, and oftentimes he'll take my seat. I'll sit out. I'll do the production role. For those of you who need to know more about Jeffrey Tucker, you can look him up on the internet. He's a prolific. Liberty writer. And I, I don't know. I mean, is my status beneath or above Tucker's? I have no clue. It doesn't really matter to me. I'm not looking for status symbols on this, but I will run and fetch him a beverage. And he literally will say, I'd like a, you know, whatever he'd like. Um, and I you know, I run and get it for him. Well, yeah, he's wearing a bow tie. I mean, you just sort of, you know, you see a guy in the bow tie and you're like, oh, you're going to get a big, uh, big swinging thing in the room. And I, when, and now that he's, he just comes to mind, but now that I mention it, there are plenty of times that I've done this for other guests that um, come on Free Talk Live. They're, they're my guest. And so getting a beverage, I guess. Uh, but I, it's a little bit different than I would say that like okay they're your guest and you're you know being a you know hospitable uh, person or something like that. It's a little bit different than like if you're like walking down the street and they're like hey boy go fetch me something. You know it's a well, little different. Well the terminology different. would be certainly different, but I, I guess what I want to say is is that let's be careful how we talk about social status here. When Lainey called in uh, about an hour ago and she said she was an RN. Um, now, I could say that somehow a talk show host, she probably makes more money than I do, but uh, she, uh, you know, I could say that a talk show host is somehow a superior position to an RN because, I don't know, I got a microphone or something? I think it's a pretty cool gig. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, well, well, a talk show host is a cool gig, but RNs, they make, uh, you know, these ladies and men are helping people um, significantly. I said thank you for your service because I truly mean this stuff. Uh, there was a day um, in prison when I had to sweep the sidewalk, and I decided that I could make a decision to be miserable out there sweeping the sidewalk, or I could be happy doing it. And I said, I'm going to be happy doing this. Somebody, a bunch of a truckload of inmates come by, they're making fun of me for having to sweep the sidewalk. And the I say, the sidewalk's got to be swept. Today's my day. And the, the officer that was with them said, that's an incredible attitude. Within the week... I had a job on his crew sitting with those guys that were making fun of me. <laughs> so there you go. You're moving up in the world, Mike. There's nothing wrong with doing your job and doing it well. And uh, the first thing I want to say is, is getting mistaken for somebody wearing a nice uh, outfit that gets coffee, not the worst thing in the world. Right, exactly. So, and, and and I think that the implication here, though, is that he's uh, saying that you know people think he's a servant. Uh, because he's black is what he's he's trying to explain to these folks uh, that he's uh, who was the interview with? I think it was this is BET? from Inquisitor dot com, but I think it was a BET interview that they're um, uh, talking about. But apparently, this has moved around. Uh, like, there's you know, th this is a topic. Yeah, I saw I saw the the headlines on social media and stuff like that, and I also saw like uh, Michelle Obama said uh, something to the effect of, "I was in Target once, and somebody asked me to help you get something She's down tall. off a shelf." Yeah, exactly. I'm like, maybe you could reach it, you you tall. 
woman. <laughs> and so uh, it, it seems to me like these are sort of like minor things. And he says, I think he said at one point, he said something to the effect of, you know, there's not a there's not a young black professional who hasn't been standing outside of a restaurant and had someone hand him his keys thinking he's the valet or something like that. And I'm like, I bet there's a few, you know, <laughs> I don't I don't think that this is happening nearly as frequently as, as people make it out to be. And you know what? Sometimes people think I work at Walmart or something like that, right? I'm walking around Walmart and I've got to open carry a handgun and I've got to walk and talk and people are like, hey, can you tell me where such and such is? And I, you know what? I don't even, I don't even tell them I don't work there. I'm like, yeah, it's over there. You know, <laughs> I, I help them find what they're looking for. I can't tell you how many uh, ladies, and generally older ladies, I don't want to stereotype any here, here or anything. I wouldn't want to be a misogynistic or oldism or whatever. But older ladies will ask me for help in Home Depot. Now, it, that means they're, I assume, mistaking me for a person who works at Home Depot. That does not make the people at work at Home Depot bad or wrong or me or anything but like that. But it's racist because white people work at Home Depot, Mark. And they're assuming that because you were white and that you're at Home Depot that you work there. Maybe I don't know. I mean, I you know, certainly it's, people and it's ridiculous, than... and it's ridiculous that they do that because you're not even wearing one of those ridiculous orange bibs like all of the employees. They're j- strictly doing it on your skin color. I had this pink shirt that I used to wear on a relatively regular basis. I don't know what happened to it, but it's uh, I don't wear it anymore. I hope it was stolen and set on fire. <laughs> but it was it was bright pink, and it kind of looked like an orange vest. And I can tell you when I went to Home Depot in that that I got even more uh, questions. Yeah, you probably got like reprimanded by your supervisor. <laughs> <laughs> Get your proper uniform on. <laughs> Let's go to Richard calling in from Texas. Richard, you're on Free Talk Live. Oh, yeah. I, I, I'm, I called a little late yesterday. I just wanted to finish up on the Jesse Jackson and Reverend Billy Giles' involvement with the uh, assassination of Martin Luther King. Is it okay to do that? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I wasn't here, so you're going to have to bring us completely up to speed on it. Oh, okay. Well, no problem if you have me. Yeah, um, there's a video that's been put out. Where it's in several parts, and it's been broken up by a couple of different producers. One of them is uh, William Peppers. He's a prominent uh, investigator, reporter. He's been on the History Channel, Discovery Channel. And there's uh, Dick Gregory, a prominent civil rights man who, worked, who walked with Jesse Jackson and Martin and all the rest of the civil rights people. been on Alex Jones' show and a bunch of other shows. And then there's Reverend Cynthia McKenzie. I'm sorry, Reverend former Richard, I, I want to hear more about this. If you'll just hold the line for me. 855-450-3733. Free Talk Live. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. You've heard of Black Friday doorbuster deals. Well, don't miss Lumber Liquidator's Floor Buster deals. Get incredible discounts on your favorite floors at one-time only prices. There's never been a better time to get a great deal on pre-finished hardwoods, hand-scraped hardwoods, gorgeous bamboo, top-quality laminates, and get 26 months special financing. Plus, get even more Floor Buster discounts in our stores. The sale ends Tuesday. These deals will not wait until after the holidays. Visit LumberLiquidators.com to find a store near you. Are you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. By using their money, you are helping the state. Stop doing it. You have an incredible alternative available now. Learn it, use it, spread it. Get started with Bitcoin at weusecoins.com. That's weusecoins.com. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. 
You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Wednesday, December 17th, 2014. Silver is trading at $15.86 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,199 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $320. Antiwar.com reports the White House has confirmed that President Obama will sign a bill into law imposing a new round of economic sanctions on Russia and authorizing military aid to Ukraine. The bill was passed by Congress earlier this week, which is to say that the three members of Congress present at the time unanimously agreed to it. The bill gives President Obama the ability to waive the sanctions against individual companies if he thinks it is in national security interest, and officials said he was pleased with this flexibility. The sanctions are nominally punishment for supporting the rebellion in eastern Ukraine, even though Russia has brokered a ceasefire in the region that is holding. Despite Russia being the primary driving force behind the ceasefire, and the U.S. not being keen on the truce at all, Secretary of State John Kerry says that the U.S. could lift all sanctions on Russia in a matter of days if they take the right steps towards resolving the crisis in eastern Ukraine. What exactly these steps are from the U.S. perspective perspective remains unclear. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Bitcoin Not Bombs. Bitcoin Not Bombs is a launching pad for nonprofits and social entrepreneurs into the financial freedom of the Bitcoin economy. Bitcoin Not Bombs is fully committed to being the hub of the nonprofit sector of the Bitcoin economy, maximizing the potential cross promotion of all our clients and commercial partners. To learn more, visit bitcoinnotbombs.com. The Washington Post reports with little fanfare to mark a rare bipartisan achievement, President Barack Obama on Tuesday signed a massive $1.1 trillion spending bill that keeps the government operating over the next nine months. The legislation was a compromise that angered liberals and conservatives alike, but avoided a government shutdown and put off partisan clashes over immigration until next year. It was one of the last acts of Congress under the current Republican House Democratic-controlled Senate. In January, the new Congress will return with Republicans in charge of both chambers. The measure retains cuts negotiated in previous budget battles and rolls back some banking regulations. The Department of Homeland Security, however, will only receive its money through February 27th, a condition demanded by Republican leaders to appease critics of Obama's immigration measures. The department oversees the National Immigration Enforcement. The agreement, negotiated mainly by Senate Democratic Leader Harry Reid and House and Senate Republican leaders was the result of a determined effort by House Speaker John Boehner and Senate Republican Leader Mitch McConnell to avoid a government shutdown like the partial one in 2013 that damaged the GOP's standing with the public. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and permanently removed the minimum purchase order for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing and a forward-thinking approach to new technologies. 850-478-5270 or online at rrbi.co. Reuters reports the lawyer for a man tortured by the CIA says Romania's authorities should acknowledge the role they played after a U.S. Senate report pointed to Romania as the site of the secret CIA jail where the man was interrogated. The report did not name countries that hosted CIA jails, but it gave details of prisoners being transferred to and from Detention Center Black, which matched air traffic records of CIA chartered planes passing through Romanian airports between 2003 and 2005. Some of these records were independently reviewed by Reuters, while others were cited in court documents. According to the Senate report, the CIA gave the government that hosted the secret jail at least $1 million to thank it for supporting the agency's detention program. The report cited the unnamed CIA officer in charge of the jail, telling his superiors that despite harsh interrogation techniques, the intelligence produced was often useless. The Office of Romanian Prime Minister sent questions from Reuters about the report to the Foreign Ministry. 
In a statement, the ministry said the Senate report released to the public contained no references to Romania, and Romanian authorities had no evidence showing that there were CIA detention centers in Romania. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. An amateur sailor has announced his plans to sail around the world to decrease awareness of important global issues. 29-year-old Michael Gilmer will cover approximately 28,000 nautical miles over three months, all the while drawing attention away from famine afflicting several African nations, revolution in the Middle East, flooding in Thailand, and economic instability across five continents. The goal here is to really make people think about a young, overconfident on an expensive boat, rather than the pressing matters of substance that actually affect people's lives. As Gilmer set off on his journey Thursday, something was happening in Washington. In local news, a cute eight-year-old is beginning to realize how much better she is than ugly girls. Since I'm cute and they're not, that means that they're not as good as me. In other news, a slaughterhouse worker is told to stop naming them all. And sure, an area man can watch your cat while his life is falling apart, no problem. You have just participated in a large-scale psychological research study. Please fill out the attached liability waiver and send it to the onion.com slash newsbeat. Hey, it's Free Talk Live, 855-450-3733. That's the toll-free line. You can call in and talk about whatever is on your mind. That's why we call it Free Talk Live. 855-450-3733. It's Mark with you. And Cantwell. And we've been all over the board tonight. Uh, there's no doubt about it. It's, it's just been a bunch of different topics. From uh, We're trying to shy away from controversy tonight. So yeah. we're just talking about like sex with Alzheimer's patients and sex in prison and uh, and now race. Yeah, right, right. And race issues and, and those sort of things. And Richard called in, uh, apparently, I, I, I'm not going to put words in his mouth, about the Martin Luther King assassination. Let's go back to him. Richard, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, fellas, thanks for being patient with me. The reason sure. why this is so important to me is because it seems like we're never going to really be able to sing Kung Baya until we get rid of all these what, uh, agent provocateurs like Jesse Jackson, Sharpton, and whoever else is playing this game. Yeah, so, I certainly don't I, think those guys are doing anything to improve race relations. Oh, I'm absolutely sure they're not. My mother is from Alabama. My stepdad was, was uh, buried in Martin Luther King's church, uh, Dexter Avenue Baptist Church. So I, I, the way I see it, these guys are just eroding everything that was gained. But getting back to that video, uh, too many people have, you know, there's been a, a trial, an actual trial. And Martin the Third, Martin Luther the Third, actually was an eyewitness to the results of this trial, along with Judge Joe Brown. And like I said earlier, Representative Cynthia McKinney, a whole lot of respectable people have looked at this information, and they have determined that Jesse Jackson and others were made it possible for this hit to go down in uh, at the Lorraine Hotel the way it did. Now, I'm not going to go over the details, but the point I'm making is if we don't expose this stuff, then these guys have put their good names all on the line for nothing. It sounds, to me, it sounds to me as though you're, you're making a reference to a video that I'm not familiar with. Is there a, is there a way that people go find this video? Yeah, that's a good that, question. Try to tie, that it, you're oh. saying that this video ties Jesse Jackson to the Martin Luther King assassination. Is that right? right. And it's more than a video. I'm just trying to cram in so many things. It's like a detailed account of what happened. And it's like the church committee. Uh, I don't know if you ever heard. I think his name was Frank Church. He was a senator. He actually conducted... Uh, investigations on this, and they had witnesses. They even had the real shooter. His name is Earl Clark, Lieutenant Earl Clark. His wife is still alive. She testified what her husband did that day, and they actually trapped her in a lie. She said that he, her husband was sick that day when she heard that Martin Luther King had been assassinated, and uh, they asked her, well, what did he do when he got that, nerve, that, that news? And she said that his uniforms were in the cleaners, and he had to go get them. So they stopped it right there. They said, hold on. This happened when the cleaners was closed. And then it went on from there. So anyway, so, the truth all came out, everybody who was involved. But the problem is, this it's like a documentary. It's not just a video. What's the name of it? It's called uh, Martin Luther. It's called Jesse Jackson Killed Martin Luther King. But it's several versions of it. And it's got, uh, this is what's so shocking. It's got millions of hits now. 
but nobody will talk about it. I've called black radio shows and spoke to people who I knew were would not be intimidated or afraid to talk about it, but they won't talk about it. It's like, I'm not going up against Jesse Jackson. It's like saying Obama is a CIA asset. Most black people won't talk about it because they bought into the... Uh, sure. How in the world did Obama get to be a CIA asset, being a constitutional scholar, community organizer, and pot-smoking Hawaiian? And he went to Columbia University. I know what you're saying. Hey, but one subject at a time, and, and, and okay. believe me. Yeah, I'm, I'll tell you. I'll, I can tell you off the bat that, like, look, we are not afraid to talk about it. If I think that Jesse Jackson killed Martin Luther King, I will be more than happy to shout it from the rooftops. As a matter of fact, there's nothing I'd like to say more. But I'll tell you what, I, I'm going to have to go look. Uh, I'm going to go have to look at this video because I'm not in any position to speak intelligently on it. This is all brand new to me, and I'm I'm interested to uh, to check it out because I know that I'm 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 sort of a conspiracy theorist, if you will, for lack of a better term. I don't think the government's telling us the truth about 9/11. I don't think that uh, you know a lot of the things that the government tells us are true. And if there's an alternative theory to the uh, the Martin Luther King assassination, that sounds like something's right up my alley. Somebody was bound to come up with it if there wasn't. But this is one of the biggest secrets of all time. Now, one of the other producers of it, his name is Steve Coakley. He's kind of a radical black guy from the 60s. He looks like he's it. He's got that whole uh, the whole robe thing with the different colors and sort of a funny headdress thing. Right, and he's kind of a reverse racist, but he likes certain white people. So okay. Let me put it like this. <laughs> I'd love they to get on his good side, I, I'll tell you. <laughs> he'd be one of the lucky ones. <laughs> they all came together and coordinated their efforts to help out Jesse, but it still is being blocked off. So you guys are pretty much the last resort, GCN and RBN. But the reason why I'm saying this is because, you know, this is goes along with the Christmas Day bomber, that Uma Abdul Matalib guy. If we don't get, if this guy was set up so we could all be frisked and be molested at the airport, but I can't get black people to even expose that because it makes Obama and Eric Holder look like, well, they set this innocent young black man up to be the fall guy for rapist scan, uh, right. x-ray vision at the airport. And, so, and I've got to so, say that I think that it th this probably is really a problem, is, is that this whole identifying with groups thing uh, is the idea that somehow Barack Obama and Eric Holder wouldn't set somebody up because they were, because he was black. They care nothing about race, um, very little about race. It's all about their power and, uh, you know, and I, I would say that's true of the white politicians, too. It's about power. Oh, yeah. I mean, people will chime, you know, politicians will chime in on race very frequently. I wouldn't say that they don't care about it, but they only care about it so far as they could use it to their own advantage. Yeah, I'll put this uh, video that I've got here up on the, the Facebook page so the folks can watch it and see what they think. I appreciate the call, Richard. Thanks so much. 855-450-3733. And I will get that posted in, uh, here in the uh, coming up shortly. So going on with this story about, I guess, Barack Obama getting asked for a cup of coffee, um, and I guess that's a terrible thing. But uh, this seems to go sort of down a rabbit hole of where of sort of racial sensitivity. There were some tweets that were that got that were leaked out of the Sony thing that came recently, mm -hmm. and I guess I'm supposed to believe these are racist. And I'm just going to uh, chime in here. Uh, in one instance, Amy Pascal, an Obama supporter and a movie producer, Scott Roden, made jokes at the president's expense when conversing about the. Questions Pascal should ask during a fundraising breakfast. They joked about asking President B B Barack Obama if he'd like to finance some movies. They need to get movies financed, and this is probably a large portion of their job is to find, you know, executive producers. Right. And so they say, but the jokes quickly became suspect when Pascal asked if President Obama liked a couple of racially motivated movies, is the terminology here. Um, it's, I doubt it. And so here's the quote I doubt it. Should I ask him if he liked Django? 12 years or the butler or think like a man uh, and these are movies uh, the best i can tell yeah, django's the only one that i've seen out of that list there 12 but. years was uh, you know, basically you're talking about movies that focused on black uh lead actors that were empowering towards black men or whatever and somehow this is racist to suggest that barack obama might like those movies or want to promote movies like that.
I, I, I'm so sick of the race hysteria, man. And it's like, it's gotten to a point where, like, I don't even argue with people that it is or is not racist anymore. I just say I don't care. Like, I don't care if it is racist or not. I'm just talking about a subject. If you want to call me a racist, then, like, go ahead, call me a racist, and then make your point, because you haven't made one by by calling it racist. I was looking at a thing uh, today on AntonioBueller.org, something about cake being racist, you know, <laughs> because some sorority girl, uh, you know, had a, had a, the N-word on, on her cake, uh, in in relation to uh, some uh, oral sex act, and and this was uh, this big thing where this sorority made a big stink because they had the N word on a cake and it was a total joke and everybody went crazy. Didn't uh, Gwyneth Paltrow get in trouble um, at some point in the relatively recent past for uh, using? Well, there's two N words, right? Like there's a uh, there's a colloquial N word that's meant to be uh, sort of positive, and then there's a uh, uh, a less uh, you know sort of one old- that ends with A and one that ends with R is, right. this, is this the premise that would be it yeah and it ended with a this one on the cake in, in this question but uh you know when you're a white person and you say it there's no difference between the two as soon as the race pips get involved well there was in prison we could do it all the time um and it was it was a regular uh, occurrence like cracker and the n-word were used on a regular basis and it was used if it was you know it was the tone of voice that was what mattered yeah so i don't know how am I supposed to know? 855-450-3733. Free Talk Live. Here's a good idea. When you have a legal matter like creating your will or legally setting up a business with a corporation or LLC, you don't necessarily need a law firm. Use LegalZoom.com. At LegalZoom.com, you answer straightforward questions online. And they take care of the rest. They even review your answers for common mistakes and guarantee your satisfaction. Free Talk Live listeners, you'll get 10% off your order by typing in FTL in the referral box at purchase. Don't procrastinate with these important legal documents. LegalZoom.com. Hi, everyone. I'm Chuck Woolery. After putting a few thousand couples together on Love Connection, you know that nothing kills romance faster than bad breath. Smart Mouth gets at the cause of bad breath without the burn. And you get clean breath for about 12 hours. Other mouthwashes only prevent bad breath for about an hour. Gum and mints, well, they just cover it up. Use Smart Mouth in the morning for great breath all day. Rinse in the evening for clean, kissable breath all night. You can even wake up without morning breath. Smart Mouth, for 12 hours of real clean breath, look for the green box at your favorite store. Again, the Congressional Budget Office sounds the alarm. This time warns of Greek-style U.S. debt crises. You heard me right. The GAO is drawing a parallel between the U.S. economy, its debt, and the current Greek economic meltdown. With the debt-to-GDP chart climbing into unfamiliar territory, the growing budget deficit will rise to unsupportable levels. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. The Federal Debt and Risk of Financial Crises document the CBO has published is a must-read for every American. Covering the risk of continued deficit spending coupled with an aging population and the rising interest rates spell economic disaster. It's imperative that you get a copy of this document and study it for yourself. Call me today at 800-686-2237 and I'll send you a free copy. Again, call 800-686-2237 and ask for your copy of the CBO document. Once again, you need to read this government report. Call 800-686-2237. The warning signs. At first, he made me feel special. He promised he'd look after me, provide for my future. He broke every promise he made. Millions of Americans afflicted. I was ready to leave, but he told me he'd change. So I gave him another chance. I was such a fool. The consequences. Things only got worse. He started making my decisions for me, about my job, my kid's education, my money my safety, my future. He took away my choices, but I kept going back to the same politicians. The diagnosis, battered voter syndrome. I fell for the same old lies. They were just playing with my emotions, telling me what I wanted to hear. That's not right. Stop the insanity of voting for the same old abusers. Declare your independence from the two-party system and join the New Hampshire Liberty Party today at nhliberty.info. 
Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. You can sign up to receive the latest about the Liberty Radio Network via our email updates at updates.lrn.fm. That's updates.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, 855-450-3733. That's 855-450-FREE. You can call in and talk about whatever is on your mind. It's Mark with you. And Chris. What's on my mind is In Freedom's Cause. It is a CD set, two CD set, uh, audio theater that you just won't, you have to listen to this to believe it. You'd think that somebody took a movie and put the audio track on some CDs, but there's no movie that goes with this. The movie plays out on your mind. If you want to call it an audio movie, you can do that because it's got big name actors, ones like Billy Boyd from Lord of the Rings and Skandar Keys from Chronicles of Narnia, James Cosmo from Braveheart and Joanne Fraga from Downton Abbey. It's got its own score, which is really impressive. They had their own score produced for this. This is a an incredible story, and you can get it. You can get a family four pack. For 50 bucks with coupon code FTL. That's half off. It's a special offer only for Free Talk Live listeners. You just go to infreedomscause.com. You'll be getting four gifts for the you know young people in your life. Uh, this these are great gifts for uh, for young people because it's a you know, it's a family friendly story. But my wife and I loved it when we listened to my son Jack. We're going to take it uh, as a matter of fact when we go down to uh, Florida. We're going to take it with us and listen again. So it's going to be great. Just pop it in the CD player and go. Infreedomscause.com. Use coupon code FTL when you check out and you buy the family four pack and you'll get it for half off. Infreedomscause.com. Coupon code FTL. Let's go to the phones. Talking to Barry in Charleston, West Virginia. Barry, you're on Free Talk Live. How you doing, gentlemen? All's well. Oh, great. Uh, I like to talk about racism. Okay. And uh, the perfect example of racism is uh, uh, Clayton Bigsby. I don't know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, is this the black guy that thought he was white? This is the uh, Dave Chappelle. Yeah, this is okay. Dave Chappelle, yeah. the black white supremacist, who's such a wonderful bit. And then he finds Biden. out that he's black, uh, but he's blind, of course, so he didn't know, and he had to divorce his wife right. because she was an in lover. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I my kids. This was two thousand and one, two thousand two, uh, and they were in high school. They were in their own room, laughing, carrying on doing what uh, high school kids do. And they said, Dad, come in here and watch this. Well, they started it. I seriously thought it was uh, a documentary. And <laughs> I died. I, I, I did peel myself a little. Yeah. And Dave Chappelle is an incredible comedian, and he does uh, such matter-of-fact stuff. It's it's really awesome the way he does it. But he can dress up like a white guy and do the white guy shtick, and nobody calls it racist. And I don't think it is. Oh. It's just funny. No, it's funny. Yep, yeah. just funny. I guess I guess racism, if it makes you laugh, it's not funny. If it pisses well, you off, it's racist. Yeah, I guess uh, that's what it, it tends to come down to. Well, gentlemen, y'all are doing a good job, and I'll hang up and listen. Thanks, Thanks Barry. Thank Appreciate you so it. much. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, there are there are people. I'm convinced that you know people get really upset about like racist jokes, and I'm and I'm convinced that that's like a that's like a 
self-loathing thing, right? Like they're they are laughing at these jokes and they're saying, oh, I'm laughing at racism and now I feel guilty about it. You know, and these people are probably like white liberals who probably walk across the street if they saw a black guy. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I think that uh, there's certainly some jokes that get cruel. There's no doubt about that. But, um, you know, if if we can make fun of the situation, like Chris, uh, Chris Rock does this uh, a really funny bit on how not to get your butt beat by the police. And right. it's it, advice to black people. And it's in a sort of a funny way of doing things, but it kind of talks about, you know, maybe there's a system for not getting your butt beat when dealing with the police. Not to say it's going to be foolproof or anything like that, but, y- you know, you, there are some things you could do on your side. Right. And in that instance, I mean, we're talking about a number of things that are not funny. Not only are we talking about, you know, racism, we're talking about, uh, you know, police abuse. And that's the last thing that I find funny, but the the bit was funny. And it's like, okay, that's the joke. Good job on the joke. Thank you very much. You know, I'm not going to go and condemn Chris Rock as if he's supporting police violence. He's trying to make a bid. Yeah, and I think that what he was trying to say there is that there's a, a certain amount of uh, self-empowerment involved in this situation. That you can't expect a human being to, uh, you know, they don't operate in a void. So treat people with respect you're like liable to get treated with respect i i'm not going to claim that this that that i you know know what it's like or anything like that but i think that i have a, a small uh, you know picture of what it's like to be in a uh, vilified class i was a white guy in a um, prison where white people were outnumbered 10 to 1 of mm-hmm. you know non-whites and i don't think that there's whites and non-whites mind you i'm just saying that that's some people look at the world that way and uh, the you know that's it's kind of a it gives you some picture of what it might be like to be in the minority yeah, i was in the minority at I've, one point. I've been the only white guy in the room and that is you know it's a, it's a it'll make you think differently <laughs> yeah it makes you think differently there's no doubt about it and it yeah. depends on how welcome you feel and uh in any given circumstance you know some people will dislike you because of your color it, you know, it doesn't matter which side of the fence they're I, on. I used to joke around, you know, I had like uh, black friends and stuff like that. I date a black girl and, you know, I said, if the police come here, I'm just going to drop to my knees and be like, thank God you're here. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> Certain advantages. <laughs> come, yeah, there come there are certain advantages. I th- <laughs> and I think that's what white privilege is, is when we talk about it. I think that they're, you know, I think it exists. I just don't think that it's everything that it's all cracked up to be. Right, and I don't think it's necessarily something that you know I need to demonize people about or that I need no, to be well, checking all the time. I mean, you know, if you're black, you know, women might assume that you have a large penis. There's a couple of advantages involved in that. I suppose there are. <laughs> I don't know the answer to that, but uh, I suppose there are. So uh, anyway, I think that this this article is going on here from Inquisitor.com is uh, being a first-hand victim of racism, even as President Barack Obama is determined to stop the trend and usher in a new and accepting America. Now, this racism is he's been asked for uh, a cup of coffee, wearing a tuxedo, he was asked for a cup of coffee, and so apparently mistaken for people that go get coffee. Right, it's not like he was strangled for not paying taxes. <laughs> right. Um, he uh, has been sometimes, uh, I guess the claim is, is that somebody's tried to give him his car keys to take, uh, take your car... Apparently, they trusted you enough to take his car away. Personally, I don't know any white man who voluntarily hands his keys over to a black man. <laughs> <That's, laughs> I've met a lot of black valets, especially down in South Beach. But, uh, you know, so I've done that, and I'm happy to do it. But here's the quote. If you look after what happened with uh, Michael Brown, if you looked at what happened with after Trayvon, if you looked at the decision after Eric Garner, I'm being pretty explicit about my concern uh, and being pretty explicit about the fact that this is a systemic problem. That black folks and Latinos and others are not just making this up. Um, what are your thoughts regarding the ways that Obama is being treated in the White House? So that that question there is to say, I guess I can see what it might be like for somebody, uh, you know, who's of color, sort of in the workaday life and that sort of thing. I just can't see that Barack Obama being asked for a cup of coffee and Michelle. Uh, Obama being asked to get something on a tall shelf at Target is somehow indicative of systemic racism. No, I I don't think it is either. And as a matter of fact, it just shows how detached from reality these people are. 855-450-3733. Am I I detached from reality? What do you think about this? 855-450-3733, Free Talk Live or LRN.FM on Skype.
This is Dan Pilla. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. Hi, I'm Sam Nussbaum, WellPoint's Chief Medical Officer. We proudly support the March of Dimes mission to improve the health of babies and fight premature birth. We're helping the March of Dimes fund breakthroughs in research and community programs that help more moms have full-term pregnancies and healthy babies. Join us in working together to provide children with a healthier start in life. Visit marchofdimes.org. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here. And I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges. This is Davi Barker from ShinyBadges.com, and I just want to personally apologize for airing a jingle week after week, month after month, that turned out to be such an infectious brain worm. So to make it up to you, I'm offering a free gift. The next time you make a purchase at ShinyBadges.com, write WORMS in the transaction comments, and I'll send you something weird. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. So the protection of life, liberty, and property is, is what the Free State Project is all about. But it's an, it's an effort to move 20,000 people who understand. It's about demonstrating to the entire country. That, yeah, we can have a free market, a truly free market. Making it just a free, great place to live. It's the world's largest voluntarist libertarian community, and it's, it's only getting bigger. That's amazing, to be able to move to a place where other people like passionately believe in being free and independent. What the Free State Project is managing to do, though, is to put their money where their mouth is. It's physically getting up across the country and saying, let's go someplace and let's demonstrate the power of these ideas. There's a lot of kind of philosophy that surrounds liberty. There's a lot of thinking about it and talking about it. But here in New Hampshire, people are doing it. 101 Reasons Liberty Lives in New Hampshire, a documentary by Free State Project Early Movers. Watch it free at 101reasonsfilm.com, 101reasonsfilm.com. What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, 855-450-3733. That's 855-450-FREE. You can call in, talk about whatever is on your minds. Phone lines are surprisingly uh, vacant for this time of night. It's usually these last two segments. They just begin to roll in. And um, I'm not exactly sure why that we is. We probably scared them away with the whole prison sex thing. I'm Indeed. Figuring. It could have happened. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to uh, get on the, our email list, you can go to updates.freetalklive.com. I think the advantages to that are... 
you know, sometimes we, uh, you know, t- we talk about new stations we've added and uh, maybe awards that we've been given and the interviews that we get on other shows, that sort of thing. We will send those out the email list. So, yeah, a lot of people on it, uh, thousands of them. It's updates.freetalklive.com to uh, get the email updates. I, I think that you should do that if you're a fan of this show, because if you're listening to, like, if, you, if you're catching us on social media and stuff like that, you know, Facebook doesn't show you everything that the, the show does. Not the I important have, stuff. I, I try to get everybody who reads at ChristopherCantwell.com to go and click on the subscribe link and go subscribe to me, too, because, you know, if you're waiting on Facebook or Twitter or something like that, you're going to miss a lot. Yeah, you don't get the the big stuff. You get the little stuff um, as it comes by, the things that happen moment to moment, but you don't get sort of the important things that go by. When Free Talk Live is named the 42nd talk show in the nation by Talkers Magazine, you won't necessarily know that uh, by watching the Facebook feed. Facebook is notorious about sort of downplaying, uh, you know, stuff that gets posted by businesses because they want you to pay money yeah. to get the views of the people that like the page and it's there's, an outrageous amount of money too there's like forty thousand people that like the facebook page and sometimes when i post something if it doesn't if it doesn't get liked by people it'll just lay there at like 500 views or something so yeah. i mean forty thousand people said they wanted to get our updates and only 500 see it exactly so whatever i mean it's their service what am i complaining about let's go to james calling in from arizona James, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? James? Yeah, Michael Brown was a street thug that attacked a cop and paid for it with his life. And Trayvon Martin was a stupid little punk who got in a fight with an armed goon and paid for it with his life. And Eric Gardner resisted a petty arrest and his heart gave out and he paid for it, and he paid for it with his life. And my point is, these are examples of systemic racism uh, in the minds of, say, a community agitator, come president, the new American Idol, Barack Star Obama, uh, for for who I will believe was asked for a cup of tea in the White House about around the same time I believe his race hustler advisor Al Charlton is a reverend. But um, Mark, so you don't believe Minister, that he was asked for a cup of tea? Because I nope. I've, I've found it a really kind of odd that he would be in the White House where he's a liar. Why I don't you don't need to tell me this, please. I, I don't want to really talk about it because our president is a liar and a race hustler, and the same guy that claims that some dude asked the president of the United States for a cup of tea because the implication is because he's black, even though honest to God, if he had straight white hair like my dad did, he looks just like my dad. I kid you not, with hardly any discernible difference in skin color. What's your ethnicity no. of your dad? He was German. Okay. Vit. I thought you already knew that. Well, anyway, it uh, doesn't matter. Our community agitator, race hustler, who pals around with the likes of Al Charlton, who may ro- shall rot in hell when he finally stops breathing. That man is a criminal. And uh, we have a president that hangs around with criminal race agitators. Does Ferguson, Barack Obama hang out with uh, Al Sharpton? F- Ferguson is 100% the fault and the cause of race hustler agitators like Al Charlton. If uh, Michael Brown was the gentle giant, then I'm the jolly green giant for real. I I, I, mean, I don't uh, if you could like make a point and then have us respond to something that would be swell because I mean I'm pretty sure people would tune in swell, to listen to us. But like well be swell CC is to hear a white intellectuals like yourself not talk about systemic racism that doesn't exist and then bring up three examples that are all a bunch of local irrational well, the, the, the thing is James actually if you listen to the program instead of just waiting for your chance to talk you'd say that we, you'd know that I'm actually on your side with most of what you're saying here that this this entire thing is ridiculous it's hysteria I call in, I never call into free talk live to, to find communion or camaraderie. I call in like the GCN commercial says when you disagree with the host. I don't call in to talk about conspiracy theories or 9-11, which I'd love to pick your small brain about since you think that our government is covering something up. What is it that they're covering up? I, I have no idea what happened on 9-11 because the government is a bunch of liars. Truth is usually the first casualty of war. I'm not going to go tell you that it was thermite paint hey, or some crazy Jesse what? Ventura garbage. I don't know. I wasn't no, there. You- I wasn't there either. Do I accept the general uh, uh, blame for 9-11? Yes. That, uh, uh, you accept the general blame for 9-11? He's, he's just saying the story. He's Islamists came over here. In, in, there were fanatics of Osama bin Laden. 19 guys they, with box cutters started World War Three. 
We didn't. We're not in the midst of World War Three. Four thousand casualties on our side, and that's World War Three. Are you crazy? Well, there's a million on the other side. So I mean, it's a lot of dead people, and I don't know that that's how you measure World War Three. I mean, if your government goes and invades a whole half a dozen, how many different wars are we even in anymore? I have trouble keeping track of them. You call them wars. I don't actually. Uh, they're nothing even in the. the Nothing comparable to the evil oh, empire. Oh, yeah, and that's the other thing, too, is that now we've just got so many different words for war now. Like, what do they say? Libya was like a kinetic like military action. It's just like, by the time they invade Iran, they're going to call it sunshine for the sand people. I mean, you people don't make any sense. You people. You called what? We're in World War Three. You said that. That doesn't yeah. make any sense. You're not in World War Three right now. How many foreign countries does a government invade before it's at war with the planet? Uh Saddam Hussein was an evil mass murderer and dictator. The fact that we invaded Iraq when all he had to do was put up his hands and say, hands up, don't shoot, and turn himself in, we wouldn't be in it. We wouldn't have done anything to anybody in Iraq. But then according it, to the State Department, but according to the State Department's numbers that were leaked through, through uh, Bradley Manning, uh, there were more than 100,000 non-combatant Iraqi casualties. What does that make George Bush then? It makes Saddam Hussein and his willing henchmen culpable. Not What's George the Iraqi Bush. uniform look like? What's that supposed to mean? You playing play stump the ump? What do you I, want to I, play stump the ump with me? It's it's it's, it's fun. <laughs> it's like you know, Cat Williams brought this up in a comedy set, but I really think about it. It's like we're not over there killing their army. We're over there killing them. And then he says, "You want proof? Okay, what's the Iraqi uniform look like? Nobody can tell you. There's not there's not some uniform force fighting the United States in Iraq. It's just a bunch of U.S. soldiers going over and taking over a country." A clever man, my old man, could have put on a German uniform during World War II, an actual real World War, and nobody would have known the difference. Okay. He would have looked like the German. That's a total stump. The and I can wear a bra and panties. It don't make me a woman. Are you with a CC? Oh, by the way, I love how, speaking of the Sopranos, really quickly, and your old boss in the real world, uh, no, what a surprise. You wanted a murderous, adulterous sociopath to score with the only decent character on the Sopranos, Dr. Melfi. That's a real life fantasy of yours because you wanted to be Tony Soprano and not the good guy. Well, I mean, in the Sopranos, you got him, you got him James. Thanks for the call. Yeah, uh, yeah. I don't know. I, I never know where to go with him. But I mean, in the Sopranos, Tony Soprano was the protagonist in the show. I mean, he was the good guy, even though he was the to. criminal. You know, the whole idea is you're supposed to root for Tony throughout the entire thing. You watch the Shield, and like, you know, the Shield is a thing where the guy from the commission, forget his name now, he's the, uh, you know, he's like a dirty cop, and I don't like dirty cops at all. But he's the protagonist of the show, so I'm cheering for the protagonist of the program. Let's go to David calling in from San Francisco. David, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, greetings. Uh, you know, it's funny. We got um, California's in its big drought. Well, it's raining out here, so our assets are improving. Excellent. You, yeah. you can't beat it when it's raining in California. No kidding. Hey, you know, uh, regarding that last caller, um, I mean, I, I heard a lot of scared rage in that call, you know. And I, when I think of the fear industry and how they've been scaring the little old ladies and scaring the little kids from the age of zero, I mean, what is it? 9-11 is 12, 13 years ago? Yeah, 13 so or 14, 13 yeah. 13-year-old 13 year old kids been raised in this whole mess, you know, and uh, and uh, they've been just BSed and propagandized and, and terrified and made to pay outrageous prices, uh, you know, for what we used to take as normal. And these guys... Yeah, can you believe are, we got on planes without getting... Uh, you know, searched and yes, yeah, and all good. those things. I mean, how did that happen? David, I want you to hold the line here, if you would, please. Sure. 855-450-3733 for the final segment of Free Talk Live. That's 855-450-FREE or LRN.FM on Skype. For all of you who are inspired to create your own unique holiday cards and gifts. For all of you, there's Vistaprint.com. At Vistaprint.com, creating personalized holiday cards is simple. Choose from hundreds of designs and add your own photos and special messages. And there's 60% off. Plus, personalized one-of-a-kind gifts are also to 60% off. It's our best deal of the season. But hurry, offer ends December 7th. The only way to get this incredible deal is to go to Vistaprint.com, click the microphone in the upper right corner, and enter code RADIO60. Vistaprint.com, code RADIO, the word 60. In a truck. Trial by jury, the primary function of a juror is not to dispense punishment to the accused. It is to protect your fellow citizens from being unjustly deprived of their life, liberty, or property. As a juror, you can say no to unjust laws and prevent government abuses of power by refusing to convict. 
legislative, executive, judicial. The fourth branch of government is we the people. Find out more from the fully informed jury association at FIJA.org. On Facebook, on the news, and in conversations with friends, we're bombarded every day with advice on how to be healthier, from gluten-free and non-GMO diets to how much exercise and sleep the body needs. But how much have you heard about alkalizing the body? AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops are a holistic and natural way to get your body's pH levels back in balance. Just a few drops in water will help your body rid itself of harmful waste. And even the healthiest of diets can be complemented with your daily use of AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops. Who isn't looking for more vibrance, vigor, and energy? Now buy two bottles of AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops and get $10 off your order. Visit AlkaVision.com or call 800-518-7615. AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops are packed with a powerful combination of the most alkaline minerals and compounds. Open the door to greater health, vitality, and zest for life. Alkalize your body, supercharge your health. Call 800-518-7615 or head to alkavision.com. If you're looking for work, the person you are applying to is probably so swamped with applicants that he or she is tough to reach. So call early in the day, before 8 a.m., before the palace guards arrive. You'll need your prospect's direct number, and here's a sneaky way to get it. Suppose the company's main number is 555-5000. You should call 555-5012. When someone says, good morning, Pam Johnson, you should innocently say, oops, somebody here must have written this down wrong. I was calling for Tom Frederick. What's his direct number? If the very next thing you hear isn't Pam giving you Tom's number, it may be, good morning, Tom Frederick. For more tips for job seekers and getting better results in all your day-to-day communication, hit survivalspeech.com. I'm Holland Cook. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell waiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at freeross.org. That's freeross.org. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, 855-450-3733. You can go to amp.freetalklive.com, and if you like what we do here on Free Talk Live, it's a great way to support it, uh, support what we do. You also get a commercial-free AMP podcast, and I think that that in and of itself is uh, worth a great deal. Uh, as a matter of fact, there's also an AMP-only call-in line. We've got uh, somebody on that right now. And there's an AMP forum on Facebook that you'll be part of. Those are the perks, but really the reason for joining the AMP program is because you want to spread the ideas of liberty. Free Talk Live does that in a way that no other radio program can or does. Um, or, yeah, no, not on the scale that Free Talk Live does. You can go to amp.freetalklive.com and help us out. Going back to David, calling in from San Francisco. David, do you want to talk about Cuba? Well, yeah, and the fear industry. Um, you know, basically, if you look at it, um, if you knew that Cuba, didn't they produce like a third of the world's sugar? They were like so big in production of sugar, and then all of a sudden they embargoed the entire thing, right? So it was almost a grant uh, to Russia because Russia was the only ones that would uh, that would trade with them. And so Russia got all the sugar that was produced in Cuba. and Probably it, a lot it, cheaper, it, too. 
oh, yeah, because it was embargoed. It was like, sure, we won't even bother paying attention to your... And, and so it was a, uh, um, you know, since they were on the crap end of the street, so to speak, anyway, they just traded. In fact, that's kind of the history of, was it right after World War I, Germany and, and uh, Russia were trading hugely between themselves. And, I mean, they were adjacent to each other, basically, so it was an easy trade. But the idea that they, uh, uh, you know, they, they had their own economy and they didn't even pay attention to what J.P. Morgan said. And, uh, and, and so the whole idea that there's like it's fear industry of the economy, people are just jumping at weird, uh, you know, weird straws uh, when uh, they, sh- you know, invest in shoelaces, invest in something that's going to be there, that you're going to have a constant need. When they invest in fear, I mean, somebody else can come and screw up your, your uh, scary movie. And uh, like listening to that last guy, you know, he was basically reduced to buying every week. He's got to buy survivalist stuff. It's like he's expecting the apocalypse so intensely that he can't quit. But fear is what the news every- sells, right? I mean, that's what they yeah, do. Yeah, I mean, if it bleeds, it leads. And, I mean, there's good reason for that. I mean, people are interested in these things, right? If you get people amped up about something, you're going to get more attention to what it is that you do. I do it on my media outlets. I mean, I'm not surprised that CNN and Fox News and all of these guys sure. do it, too. But it is kind of crazy when we're talking about politicians and government. Some of the ridiculous things that they'll put out there, they're just completely baseless, and people just buy it anyway. Yeah, they sell fear, and then they make fun of the uh, the the survivalists that buy it. Yeah. PTSD. No doubt what about it. it. D- David, thank you so yeah, much no, for the call. Appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, have good holidays. And uh, I think is it Yalda yet? I don't know what Yalda is. Oh, that's the most ancient holiday that they've ever discovered. Okay. It was when when you stop shivering, the days finally get longer. So uh, you can stop shivering. You can look forward to longer days. <laughs> Pretty yeah, soon. I, I think it's right. It's getting to be the uh, the, the 21st. Anyway, I always like the salsa. you know how they came up with a name, right? No. Yeah. I have no okay. idea what that means. Yep, sorry. <laughs> Thanks for the call. Good, good try, buddy. <laughs> um, a valiant effort. <laughs> you know, when you have jokes, some are going to fly and some aren't. Yeah. I always thought that uh, the solstices made sense as holidays. I mean, you know, they're, they're, they're very significant in the as far as the calendar goes. Let's go to Jay Noon. Jay, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey guys. Hey, Jay. What's going on? Well, I call in and update you on uh, my federal lawsuit I got against the uh, town of Palmer. They're trying to steal my uh, father's farm here. And uh, it was an appeals court. Um because uh, last, oh, March, district court dismissed my lawsuit against the town. Okay. And my lawsuit claimed, uh, well, I basically wanted the town uh, employees to explain to a group of jurors how it is they can take land without um, property, without a jury, as uh, they've sworn an oath to make sure that's the only way they take it, if they've actually sworn an oath to the Constitution. And every state constitution and federal constitution in- includes a requirement that they must – that they can't take property unless it's by trial, of, you know, judgment of peers. Yeah, you'd so think anyways, that that would be the case, that, that if you – if they were going to confiscate property, they at least should give you a day in court to talk about it. But when it comes to non-payment of property taxes, they don't do that, do they? That, no, not in Massachusetts. Massachusetts, you don't even get a judge. It's just a recorder in land court. Not even a judge. And it's... So anyways... It's bizarre. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Well, it's just, you know, it's uh, you know, it's kind of the same reason um, the colonists uh, had a revolutionary war. Um, anyways, so I appealed it to federal court. And, I mean, it, I appealed it to the um, First Circuit of Q- Court of Appeals in Boston. Okay. And they responded with, we affirm with the town's... Um, or no, with the uh, district courts, the lower courts, report and recommendation to dismiss my case for failure to state a claim upon which relief could be granted. Um, and that there's it, nothing then? in there saying that. Well, no, that's not it. I'm okay. I'm not done. Uh, I've got um, several more things we're going to do. We're going to. Um, I'm actually writing a report and recommendation uh, tomorrow. Uh, not. I mean, I'm sorry. A motion to reconsider a simple. And clear motion to reconsider, and then um, also uh, I am 
uh, basically shopping around for a paralegal or somebody to help me put together a very good uh, uh, case that to go to the U.S. Supreme Court. And I haven't even gone after him on my house yet, which is a totally different piece of property. Okay, so I was wondering about that. When you said your dad's farm, I was I have been to the house yep. that got confiscated, and it didn't seem like there was a lot of farmland there, so I figured it was a different situation. So you've right, got right. two pieces of property that have been confiscated for non-payment of taxes. Is that right? Oh, yeah. They're, well, they're scattered. They stole my home, and now they're trying to steal my inheritance. Hmm. Um, yep. Let, let me on. let me ask you. I mean, it's it's an interesting thing to see you fight these things in court, and you know, keep it documented and update us on the show and stuff like that. And I appreciate you doing it. Uh, and and I don't believe in any legitimate authority to tax your property or to take your money or your property from you. But I gotta ask you. I mean, at some point, doesn't it just sort of make sense to pay the property taxes? Well, um, you know, it would have made sense for. Uh... Oh, I'm forgetting her name. The, the black woman, Rosa Parks, to just sit at the back of the bus. It would have been a lot easier. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, but it, it's got to start But my somewhere. understanding of it, I mean, Jay, I, and, I'm, and I apologize to him for interrupting you, but my understanding of it is, I mean, did you did you go into this with the idea that you were going to somehow use some kind of legal process and defeat the government in their courtroom? Was that sort of your plan? Um, on my house? Yeah. My house, yes. My house was was absolutely, I never paid a penny of tax. And my father actually beat him in 1991 in court. So, so and then, but then you, you lost, that. then you lost the house and now you're fighting for the farm. And, you know, it's right. one thing, like, it's one thing if you're like, hey, I'm going to try this legal process, right? And it's interesting, you know, and stuff like that. Well, you already lose your house. Right. This is a great deal of pain yeah. um, that we're talking about here. And that's what. I guess what's so heroic about this, um, and uh, but I mean, I I, I got to say it's too much for me. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, I don't. I you know I don't have a you know any kids or anything, and you know it was a little a little crappy house on you know thirty six hundred square feet of land is uh, the uh, is you know is the one I lost and. And, uh, and actually, the guy who owns it, he's trying He's trying to unload it now, and nobody will buy it because I got land patents and everything all tied up in the deed, and I guess he's pretty upset about it. Um, and, uh, you know, the guy who paid $20,000 for it, he hasn't been able to do anything with it. And uh, he's trying to sell it, and he can't get it sold, from what I understand. Mm. Anyways, um... Maybe you go the, buy uh, it back for a song. <laughs> well, I'm, 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 I'm just going to... We're, we're with the house. We're going to go after the tax collector himself personally. Um, in fact, if you Google Palmer tax collector Paul Nowicki, you'll see you get all kinds of, all kinds of trouble shortly after that whole ordeal. He got for a DUI, tried bribing the cop. It's actually pretty hilarious. And um, you know, and then tried, you know, saying, "Oh, I'm protecting you." I can't hear you. I'm sorry, Jay. Can't hear you. What oh, was that? You can just. You can just read it. The, the Paul Nowicki got busted for a DUI, yeah. the Palmer tax collector, shortly after my thing. And um, he resigned in a whole nine yards, and he got into, a, I don't know, some, some altercation with the cop um, that, that busted him. And But it's all on MassLive.com if somebody wanted to Google it and check it out. But that's the guy who we're going to go after on my house and also um, a few other people in the town. Well, uh, I can only wish, the, wish the best to you, Jay. Process. Thanks. Good, Thank you. good luck. Thanks so much. 855. Well, I'm giving the telephone number. Three, uh, freetalklive.com. In the meantime, it's been an eventful show. Thanks so much, Cantwell. Thanks for having me. Yep. You can check us out in the meantime at facebook.freetalklive.com and freetalklive.com. Free Talk Live. You guys live in a dream world. No, sir, you're the one that lives in a dream world. You're the one that wants to have a police state in America where you get to determine who can come in and who can't. You want to have you border want to patrols. You want to have checkpoints. You want to let the entire third world into this country? Sir, let me get, let, I'll answer that question by reading a short excerpt from a poem. Maybe you've heard of it. It happens to appear at the bottom of the Statue of Liberty. It was about... Yes, you're poor, you're tired, tired, huddled masses. Right, you are you aware of it, yes. come in legally. Legally. Well, no, come on, the legally, Lou. The legal is such a cop legally. out. No, hold on a second, because when your ancestors came across, and I don't know what they are, let's say they're Italian. 
when your ancestors came across, all they did was take you to Ellis Island, screw up your last name, sit you around for three days, and then bam, you're out the door. Now legal is a huge pile of paperwork and tens of thousands of dollars. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My magic mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to mymagicmud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin, mymagicmud.com. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. Cop Block Radio is up next, live after the news, on the Liberty Radio Network, LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Wednesday, December 17th, 2014. Silver is trading at $15.86 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,199 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $320. Antiwar.com reports the White House has confirmed that President Obama will sign a bill into law imposing a new round of economic sanctions on Russia and authorizing military aid to Ukraine. The bill was passed by Congress earlier this week, which is to say that the three members of Congress present at the time unanimously agreed to it. The bill gives President Obama the ability to waive the sanctions against individual companies if he thinks it is in national security interest, and officials said he was pleased with this flexibility. The sanctions are nominally punishment for supporting the rebellion in eastern Ukraine, even though Russia has brokered a ceasefire in the region that is holding. Despite Russia being the primary driving force behind the ceasefire, and the U.S. not being keen on the truce at all, Secretary of State John Kerry says that the U.S. could lift all sanctions on Russia in a matter of days if they take the right steps towards resolving the crisis in eastern Ukraine. What exactly these steps are from the U.S. perspective remains unclear. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Bitcoin Not Bombs. Bitcoin Not Bombs is a launching pad for nonprofits and social entrepreneurs into the financial freedom of the Bitcoin economy. Bitcoin Not Bombs is fully committed to being the hub of the nonprofit sector of the Bitcoin economy, maximizing the potential cross promotion of all our clients and commercial partners. To learn more, visit bitcoinnotbombs.com. The Washington Post reports with little fanfare to mark a rare bipartisan achievement, President Barack Obama on Tuesday signed a massive $1.1 trillion spending bill that keeps the government operating over the next nine months. The legislation was a compromise that angered liberals and conservatives alike, but avoided a government shutdown and put off partisan clashes over immigration until next year. It was one of the last acts of Congress under the current Republican House Democratic-controlled Senate. In January, the new Congress will return with Republicans in charge of both chambers. The measure retains cuts negotiated in previous budget battles and rolls back some banking regulations. The Department of Homeland Security, however, will only receive its money through February 27th, a condition demanded by Republican leaders to appease critics of Obama's immigration measures. The department oversees the National Immigration Enforcement. The agreement, negotiated mainly by Senate Democratic leader Harry Reid and House and Senate Republican leaders was the result of a determined effort by House Speaker John Boehner and Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell to avoid a government shutdown like the partial one in 2013 that damaged the GOP standing with the public. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying, 